ザゲームタグスティルフェイズ MGO。Yeah, we had some MGO shenanigans yesterday. A lot of shenanigans. Yeah,、uh, I wanted to finish this yesterday actually, but. Yes! Hi, Gaucho, how's it going? Yes, there's a little bit of a kiss in the autumn. It just, it just, it just rained. An hour ago. So they said it's gonna be cool in the morning. So it's in the I'm gonna be so happy. It's gonna be like 70 degrees and 69 as the lowest. I'm so happy. Finally. Maybe we'll have our normal season, but then again, people are worried that we may either get no. Yes, very nice. Either we might get no winter, or we're gonna get a very bad winter. So who knows? I, for one, want snow. But. I don't know how crazy it's still been. We didn't even get anything, to be honest,、uh, this year. I think in January we got like one snow and that was it. Yeah. MGO was pretty fun, to be honest. I suck at it, Gaucho. And it actually still runs.、But、let me know if the music is too loud, by the way. It still runs. You can either do it on a HEN modded、uh, PS3, which is not too hard to do. But if you don't want to do it on a HEN modded PS3, you can play it on an、uh, emulator. And the MGO team,、uh, the Save MGO 2 team, they actually、uh, optimize the emulator. They have a specific package you have to download for MGO 2, and it actually plays very well. 90% humidity, no rain in the forecast, went up to dinner with my friends, and downpour the half of you left. Don't believe which one you have, Penta, because for mine, it said it was gonna rain. I don't know what you're using, but they lied to you. Hey, for me, happy, happy for me, I don't have to water my garden. So I'm very happy. Hopefully, you didn't get too wet either, Pedro. You're getting wet's not fun. Because then your car is going to be all, all like steamy and whatever. You used the Apple widget. Apple lied to you. Android knows the truth. Android totally knows the truth. Yeah. Yeah. 
we're gonna get into it. It is, uh, we're gonna see how long it takes us to get to there or whatnot. Hi, Fox Sound, how's it going? Android gang, and I gotta cut in hands. I'm so happy with my Google Pixel. So happy. Okay. All right. What do we got? Android rise up. Although I know there's a pet store with 20 puppies by my house. Manager has to buy cat food. Oh, that's pretty cool. Are you mad? Apple bought Dark Sky app. Best weather app ever. Oh no, is that why uh, why the Apple's weather has gotten so bad? <laughs> oh, no. Yeah, unfortunately. Hey, Mateus. <laughs> is there's low flying kettles in the rain? Yes. <laughs> How you doing, Mateus? A bowl as well. Yes, you get a look at the birds. For me, it was mostly feeling the humidity and killing all the. Uh, all the uh, uh, lantern flies. So how you doing, by the way, Fox Hunt Hubble as well? Okay, where are we? We're in chapter four. This is gonna be some crazy shit, man. Actually, let me go into the junkyard, because I think I want to try to find that, uh, find that lamp. Seems there are more Kappas than Quetzals. Hoo hoo! Hey, why so quiet? Ray? Uh-oh. What's going on? Maybe he isn't here anymore? Gold check. Yeah, golden kappa check. Apparently, there was a thing. Golden kappas are a thing. Ray is no longer here. Okay, so that's not good. Let's go to the park. Return to bully, bully after years and played a little bit Bloodborne uh, re D make. It's great so far. Oh, is the D make the one for the like the the, the PlayStation the, the PSX version? Nice. I heard Bully was a good game, and then I definitely have to. I want to play Bloodborne, but I really suck at Souls games. <laughs> Bloodborne card is on the D-Make engine. Oh my god. Huh? Hi, Ash. Good luck on your studying. You got this. I believe in you. Hope you're having a good Tuesday. Huh? What's he doing here? Play Sekiro? It's a rhythm, rhythm game. I mean, shouldn't I be playing Drakengard 3? Isn't that supposed to be the best, uh, best rhythm game? And I have Dragon Guard, actually. La la la. Let me spend my moments time with you, my love. The world will not end if food delivery is late. La la la. A little late? It's already ice cold. His nose frightens me. Yeah. That's near prequel, yeah. Ask Fox, I love torturing myself with D3. <laughs> oh, good. 
Yeah, I have to see. Dang. Ooh, I got this thing spinning pretty fast. I didn't even put much effort to it. This is quite a bit of power and speed for a piece of a playground equipment. I can just imagine all the poor kids who get sent flying around all over the park. At some point, I'm gonna have to play, um, uh, uh, Dragon Guard 3. Oh, there you are, Sissel. From your dejected expression, I gather. Yeah, just play with the seesaw. You didn't find what you were looking for? Right, I can't find the music box anywhere. But I found something else, something horrible. Horrible? What is it? There in the grass, you better see for yourself. Oh dear. She got squished. It looks like a dead body. I nearly died when I saw it. I suppose, uh, I suppose now that we found it, we can't just leave it here, there, can we? Nope, I suppose not. Stop the park from being turned into a housing site. Protect the park, the rock of God, the God. You there. You're talking to me, aren't you? Good morning, Shadow. How are you? How's it going? How was your Wednesday morning? I have some leaflets for you. Leaflets I know you'd be very interested in. I urge you to peruse it, peruse it thoroughly, examine it in detail. Remind that right now. Do you remember your name? My name... My name... Good, so soak your clothes on cycles. Nice. Doing a good laundry bit, right? I love good laundry washing. I have to wash some clothes later. What does my name matter? when there are more important things to worry about. Okay... Come now and study these tracks with me, my brother. Come and learn about the rock of the gods of me. The night is no longer young, and as a matter of fact, daybreak is approaching, but we are young. Look, I don't have the time to get involved in your way of life, but I am interested in your way of death. So let's go back four minutes before your death. Not really, Laundry? Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, that's right. I'm so sorry that that happened to you, especially like on your new course too. Oh uh, man, use baking soda. Use baking, soak it in baking soda. I made up my mind. I resolved to live here in this park and defend it. Okay, and what does that have to do with the Rock of the Gods, as you you mentioned? Yeah, it does that. Um, you can also put a little bit of like, um, like essential oil afterwards, or even like I'm trying to think what else you can do. There's borax. Um, there's baking soda. Pretty much mostly baking soda, and maybe some I don't know vinegar, but that I don't know. I don't think that really. I'm trying to think what else. Could it just probably just some uh, baking soda and just uh, and just regular laundry detergent. You still don't understand. You don't appear to still understand. It is written clearly in the fourth leaflet in great detail. Excuse me, but I have to use the restroom. Eek! Uh oh. I'm coming! Just hold on! Okay, that's a really long way to go. I'll be right there. Make sure you use heavy duty detergent and one half vinegar and super hot water. Oh, Ash would know. I've located the target beauty. The girl right age coming out of the right building at the right time. Yeah, Grandmaster Shadow, definitely take up Ash for her cleaning tips. Yes, my dear, I'll ever so gently nab her and come right back to your side. Good evening, young lady. Oh, won't you come with me?
Oh gods, what do I do? What should I do? I have to do something. Uh oh. What the hell? How in the world? What in the world just happened? Oh, that's Mino. Mino? Mino was the mascot, the symbol of Temsic Park. Forget about the name of that big, creepy lump of concrete. I'm talking about the way it changed direction. Did you see that? Yes, we did. Yeah, I mean, yes, I did. Uh, definitely, a lot of these scenes are literally Final Destination Ash. It's so good. This one took the cake. Literally, it's all Final Destination. And you have to reverse this Final Destination into a living destination. We witnessed it with our own eyes. The power of the Rock of the Gods. That was the power of the gods. The power of the gods saved that little girl. And is that same power very deliberately crushed you instead. Reverse is out word. Was that mischief of the gods or was it a ghost trick? But nah, it couldn't be a no ghost trick. Yeah, I was because I was trying to remember how it was pronounced. Was that Rudo? Uh, I don't really. Dio's time's up. Oh, okay. I don't really watch JoJo. Twin has watched a lot of JoJo and also has the fighting game. Uh, no ghost trick could change that direction of something that heavy in midair. But wait, wait a minute. What if there's somebody with much greater powers than me? Let's see what's going on. Look at that, there's another flame beside mine. Oh, that's the flame of a god, is it? But hold on. Your spirit is a flame too, isn't it? Yeah, so? Uh, pardon me, but are you a god? I sincerely doubt it. At least, at the last minute, that big lump of concrete made a huge swing to one side. That was probably the flames doing. Who could it be? Definitely believe it's a god or some body god related. Hmm, you may better try talking to this one. What the? This person was much greater powers than me. It's- it's- you? Hey! It's Missile! Oh my- Did Missile die? Enough with the Jojo references. <laughs> it's Missile! Oh my, it's- Missile! You look well for being dead. Did you see? Did you see what I did? I did it! I tried really hard- really hard and I did it! I saved this Camellia! It's so missile is so cute, Ash. You have to save the dog in the beginning. It's this game is so good. Are you telling me I was done by a puppy dog? Missile, what's going on? How did you get the powers of the dead? Shown in anime, I tend to have a hard time to stick to. I'm glad you asked. After Miss Camellia went out and you left. No, Dougie. Why must you hurt yourself? I worked like crazy to make my own path and I did it! I like shoujo anime, give me romance, reverse harems. Mmm, all the lemons. All them, all them booba. Male and female booba. And I followed Miss Camellia out in the big wide world. All the husband oh yes. All the husband oh. And then, here at, the, at this park, I found her at last. Yes, you guessed I barked, you bet I did, and I went running after her too. Looks like a uh, five-tailed uh, dog. Oh no! <gasps> oh shit, you died. Oh no, you died again. And then I guess I died. Then I was a little unconscious there for a while. Oh shit. Then when I came to, it was all over. Poor, poor Miss Camellia. Like a palm with five tails, yeah. Crushed under that big scary lump. Oh, what have I done? 
reverse harem, so regular, regular, regular sing, single marriage anime. Mm. I mean, there's Love Hina, which was literally like what a twelve girl harem, but it said like marries one. The music sounds so MGS. Yeah, it's pretty good, Ash. It's so good the music. I'm so sorry, little lady. Please forgive me, Miss Camellia. I had to rescue Miss Camellia. It was up to me. I cried out from the depths of my heart, and then... I, I can't tell you how surprised I was. I bet you understand, right? Better than probably anyone else could. I remember what you did for me and how you saved me. So, you went back, right? Before oh my god, this dog is so good! It went back four minutes in time and saved, and saved a little lady. That's so good. What a good puppy. Good puppy. Back four minutes before the little lady's death. You bet I did. Oh my god, he's got his own time reversal. This is so good. Yes, my dear, I'll ever so gently nap her and right back to your side. Oh my god, good puppy. Oh god, that's creepy. Now, now is my chance. I thought I saw the core. I don't know, it looks pretty far. I stretched up my paw towards the core. Oh, how I felt at that moment. I'd love for you to be able to feel it too. Go ahead, Sissel. Go ahead and try it for yourself. Oh. I can't believe it! How could you connect over such a great distance? Doggo using 5% of its power, yes. Imagine if it unleashed 100% of its power. It'll rule the world! Well, they don't call me Missile for nothing. Hmm. And you, and you manipulated that Mino thing and threw it aside. Right on top of my head. Well, uh, no, actually. Huh? I can't manipulate things like you can, Sissel. You can't? Then how did you... I didn't know what to do. Then I s happened to see something at the corner of my eye, and it had a core too. A single leaf hanging from the tree. Oh! So it basically swaps places with things. I tried to reach out to the leaf. What in the world? I can't manipulate things, but apparently I can swap them. Oh shit! Oh shit, this dog is so good! As long as two things have the same shape. That is... Swap two things with the same shape. Go ahead and try it. Press swap! So it's because they're probably oval. That's incredible! So that's how you save your mistress, is it? And that's how he became caught up in this, isn't it? I'm very sorry! My powers were too meager! Your powers are too strong, my friend. Eager? Because you see, I saw one more. I happened to notice one more core. It was something with the same exact shape stuck in the branches of the tree. Hey, you're right. If Mino could be swapped again with that, then disaster wouldn't have rained down upon my head. But what's that thing? It's too big to be a leaf. Whatever it is, I'd much prefer that on my head than Mino. So why didn't you swap it, Missile? I couldn't. I stretched out my paw a little further than you can, Sissel. But it was just too far for me. I couldn't reach it. So he tried to actually not kill the dude. Oh, poor Missile. Yes, the dog is like, yes. I must admit, fascinating spectacle of a death, if I do say so myself. Then I kept retrying over and over, seeing if there was anything I could do. I bet there's something you can do now. Huh? If we work together, you and me. Sissel, you think so? 
I don't plan on letting anybody die in front of me tonight. Do you think you can help me? Of course! Oh, God, I love the enthusiasm of Missile. Missile is so cute. Naturally. I, do you consider, uh, like, Be the Beginning as Shonen? Because I really like Be the Beginning. Is that more like Thriller? So we're going to, to drop that Mino in a different spot. Okay, let's try it. And go back to four minutes before. Oh, it's a football. All right, let's get started. Four minutes from now, you'll swap Mino with the leaf. And then you have to swap Mino with something else. Something with the same shape. Oh, I believe it's a rugby ball. Okay, the rugby ball, huh? But where with the rugby ball where it is now, it can't reach missile. So that means I have to move it closer somehow. It looks like uh, you and I will have to work together on, this, on that one, missile. Okay, I'm ready. Whenever you want to use my uh, swap trick, just press R2. And that way you'll be able to control me. And then you'll press R2. And control will come back to me. Okay, let's try it. Together we can stop Mino from hurting anybody. Ugh. Oh, you are so precious, Missile. Okay, alright, Missile. Your powers are the key this time. Okay, I'm ready. I can solve anything that's the same shape. Just call me if you want to try. If you want anything you want to try. Probably the best thing to do is try a bunch of things and see how it goes. And if I see something we can swap, I can use R2. Okay. Ooh, you already came here. I swore to myself not to repeat any of my mistakes. Mistakes? When somebody's in trouble, you should lend them a hand. Otherwise, you'll definitely regret it. And now the recklessness of youth have taken over, giving me lightning fast speed. Hmm, I've been thinking. If we could stop this man from running, maybe he wouldn't get squashed? Wouldn't it be easy to stop me once the recklessness of youth have taken over? Hmm, stop it, man. I didn't see that with this one, this coming. Didn't you know the first thing about the globe, globe climber? Huh? Even little children treat it with the respect it deserves. They know unless you spin gently, there's no stopping it. Yeah, it does look pretty dangerous. It looks like I'm just destined to fly through the air like this for a while. Hmm, this just might buy us some time. Maybe he'll just keep spinning around like that for the whole four minutes. I'm sorry, but I don't think I would stand for that long. But anyway, at least we stopped him from running for a while. Let's do what we can to have this chance. Look at this funny flattened ball. Same shape as a horrible Mino, but it's too far to swap from here. Even the school is starting to look horrible to me. Mm, we have to find a way to get this ball closer to that Mino thing. Knock it down from the tree, I say. There's something we must do. Oh, uh, wait, did I screw that up? Shoot. Okay. So, so did you see that? You see that seesaw? Yes, I really sent that ball flying, didn't it? Such a pity. Too bad you didn't hit the rugby ball and knock it down. Hmm, maybe it's a little too light to do that. Hey, wait a minute. Maybe we should try sending up a little something a little heavier. Okay. Well, did you look at that? Sure, whole lot of round things here. Oh boy, that means. 
uh, time for me, right? Oh boy, my hair is also round. Let's see, to use missiles, powers I use R2. I'll see what will happen. Wow, missiles got some massive reach, holy shit. Uh, Sizzle, that funny flattened ball is still in the tree. Yeah, I know. And um, there isn't much more time. I have to find the way somehow. Back to talk to me again? Uh, no, I, I wish you would talk to me and discuss the gods. Oh boy, I just came this way without giving much thought. Now there's no quarter for me to get back. We failed to follow the path of the gods, so maybe I better start. Shit. this trouble sizzle. Oh, if only my pole could reach a little further, I could have swapped that big lump one more time. Swapped it with the rugby ball and the tree nearby. That's alright. That's what we're doing now, together. I'm going to give it my best. Here, the first thing to do is to find the path to that rugby ball. I gotta wait for him, okay. Come on, dude, get on here. Come on. Yes, here we go. If it hit the ball, it would knock it down. Is that all the umbrella could be used for? For knocking down the rugby ball? Don't forget about my powers. And don't forget about my recklessness of you. Okay. Go back down here.
Hi, Jeffy. Good morning. How are you? Mind. I don't want to uh, touch you. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Let's switch to the children. Oh, what is going on? Come on. Trying to figure out how to do something with this uh, puzzle. Oh shit. Uh mother of pearl, mother of pearl, mother of pearl. Oh god. Come on, bro. Finished like work workout super did oh no. Are you gonna be okay to go to go to go to work with those dead legs? We should know you didn't skip leg day. That's always the best thing. Okay, now time to spin it fast, boy. There we go. Lucky they know it. Oh, nice! You got a nice day off. Nice. What are you gonna do for the rest of your day? Get Korean classes yesterday, right? Open the window. And switch. switch this out. You have Korean class tomorrow? Okay, nice. Nice, nice. Yeah, there we go. Do you need to study some today? Nice! Yeah, it's gonna be tough. I remember studying Chinese. I was drilling for a lot. Nice, nice, nice. Have fun with Baldur's Gate. My twin is having a lot of fun with Baldur's Gate. I haven't played it yet. It's like, you want to play? It's like, you bought it? You maybe want to do some stuff together? I'm like, maybe. So I also have a coworker who said that if I end up buying it, that they'll play with me. Nice. Yeah, my sister really loves Baldur's Gate. And she's having so much fun with it. I forget where she is. Yeah, there's also Street Fighter. You also got to get Ash too so we can fight. But you study, your studies are more important. Unless somebody gifts it to you. You're tempted to get Street Fighter on PC? Get it, Jeffy. I mean... I mean, I know you said you had an issue with it the last time. Oh no, three classes for fall. You got this, Ash. You got this. I believe in you. Okay, this, so this should be good now. Yeah, World Tour sucks. Okay, so this does not work. I need the bigger one. Shit. I mean, yeah, for me, it's just like, I think the only thing is you either have to really reduce the quality of, the, of that, like, a lot, or something like that. You have to be careful how we spend our money now that you're doing Korean classes. Cost 250 a month. Holy shit. Is there any other way you can get try to also get like free resources? Like if your like local library, I mean the, the library in the city has like any like language learning courses? They might also have like um if you can find any, they might have like conversational uh, free conversational courses you can do, if anything. Because I know... <sighs> they should have some libraries, if anything. I mean, unless they only have it at the university level.
Unless it's not in that part of the city. Everybody just looks to a bookstore, read a cafe. I'm sure there is one. Hi, Legacy, how you doing? I know at my library, like, we do offer, like, Rosetta Stone for free. So you could, so you could learn Korean for free. But what not. We also have, like, a lot of, uh, Korean. People don't read very much. Oh, that's true. You woke up for the ninth time for free today? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, there's also Duolingo. I mean, but it depends. But I think sometimes, like, with the classes, it might be better. You also gotta force yourself to do it. They don't? Even though it's taxpayer money? I don't know. That, hmm. Interesting. No worries. Give it a, give it a, give it a, give it a look, Jeffy. And there might be, like, conversational courses that you can try to take. If not, then, you know, that's kind of sad. I don't have anything for the library. Huh. But yeah, you got this, Jeffy. Good luck. I mean, there is that big stick, that new stick of razor you get to get to try. Save up. You should also put like a dono goal on your stream. Oh, that's true. There you go. Easy. Have your have 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 uh have your dono goal on stream, so that way you can get your stick. Nice chill night to do some stuff with Destiny. Come on, bro. Come on. Nope. No, please. Oh, God. is not fun anymore. Oh, no, that's sorry. Oh shit. No. Oh fuck. I forgot. No. Come on. Switch you, doggy. I mean, how much save cheese they put in the game? I don't know why they think that the playlist that they uh, Games are really weird. Oh shit. Oh no. Oh shit. Uh, okay. Uh, open, open. Okay, here we go. Let's see if this works. Oh shit, that did not work. Oh god. Okay. Um. So the freaking tire doesn't work. So then the only thing that works is the basket. Okay. Yo, monochrome, how's it going? Oh my god, my brain. Here. 
No, no. I should wait until he actually comes. Down the swing, bro. Jeffy. I really, really recommend this. No! Other fucker, I took too much time. Yeah, the game is actually really good. And for it's for these, because I love when Capcom made weird games like this. I love what Capcom's doing now, but would like to see a new weird stuff again like this. Yeah, so they remastered this uh, from 2010. Super fun. And I, well, I'm really excited to see what they're planning to do, because I think, what was it? Capcom had... Some sort of survey that they opened up to like the public and they had asked did you want us to see anything made do you want us to make any games or stuff like that i'm like dude like they're like one of the only publishers that actually have actively done that to ask the people what they want and if there's so many games that people want remade again like we can see a lot of older games come back again this is gonna be cool like capcom is doing something right like, Capcom was never really on my radar besides, like, ooh, well, ooh, well, there's Chaos Legion. I have to play Chaos Legion soon, because that's actually one thing I want to play. Maybe they can redo Capcom. They want another Okami? Really? I guess I could see that, but what would they do for the Okami? And then Hideki uh, Kamiya said he'd be willing to work with Capcom to make another one. Oh, shit! Really? I really did enjoy Okami. I played it on the Wii. That one I really liked. And then there's Okami Den, like the puppy one for like, I think it was the DS, it was pretty cute. I never, I never really played it. I want to play it. That'd be cool. And like, if they did something for Chaos Legion, that would be cool. My god. And then I'm trying to figure out what other Capcom games are. I mean, I know there's, uh, did Capcom? Yeah, I have to play it. I never finished it. I have I actually have it for PS2, so I have it on original hardware, so I could play it. Actually. Yeah, yeah, I gotta do that at some point too. I like how there was like Zeke, like Zeke Farheit. I'm like, oh my god, who's that? The voice acting was not bad at all, to be honest. It was actually pretty good. Finn, damn you. trying to figure out this puzzle. Um, it's a little tough, but I don't know what needs to be done. Let me see, can I keep spinning? Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. I completely forgot. Oh, shit. I forgot to open this thing. 
playing a few rounds of uh, Street Fighter 6, getting close to the silver. Nice! Yeah, I have to end up also playing Street Fighter. Maybe if I finish this tonight, I might be able to play Street Fighter this week before I go into like this battle. Shit! I have, I heard, yes. Your job is done, yes. Maybe I have to switch over the basketball? No. Here comes uh, uh, that man, fast enough to scare even a little quick little dog like me. <laughs> yeah, isn't it pretty late for you, by the way, Ferrico? Isn't it like almost like 3 or 4 a.m. for you? Oh, so that doesn't even work either? Oh, okay. have the ball inside and then close it. The umbrella won't close, will it? The ball must be in the way. Oh well, I must. I guess we don't have to close it. Oh shit. Double mainstream, yeah, how you doing, Ugly? What the hell am I supposed to do? Working too hard. Don't work too hard. Nice. You did. You went and touched grass. I'm proud of you.
else to do. I'm confused. Help, there's nothing to reach though with the needle we'll swap with, we're too late. Darn it. I guess we'll have to start over again. Um, I didn't have a choice, we were in a capitalist country. I may rest while I work when I work my required arrows and I love it. Uh, stop working too hard. Hi, Corey, how you doing? How are you? What the hell am I supposed to be doing with this thing? Alright, that's not gonna work. I'm doing good. We're trying to use our smooth frame to figure out this puzzle. It's just not hitting me. trying to figure out how to like get this uh to save people in this game have you ever played a uh, ghost trick before what is the right way i don't know which is the right way to get this thing so this is a puzzle game where you have to save a person and go back four minutes to their death and you have to prevent their death and there's a lot of cool things that you can do to reach certain uh, certain um, solutions. And this one's kind of stumping me a little bit. Just a little bit. It's definitely very cool. This is actually a game back in the DS era. And, um, and it's actually very, very cool. And then they remade this, so that's actually really cool. So I gotta wait for this to... Final Fantasy XIV going, and then also how is uh, your gaming code, gaming uh, coding going? Uh, come on, this guy. Final Fantasy XIV is great. You're playing other games that it's so good. Nice. We do love it, don't we? Oh, maybe I should close the umbrella. Okay. to do oh my god please oh my god go back please oh no oh my god please oh you are such a pain in the ass Maybe we 
just have to close it then. So that way it's, it hits the uh, umbrella. So heavy can't very much very much because of the swap I made. I guess the ball, the little ball is all the weight I can handle. Okay, dude, come on. Oh my god. The hell? Cecil, you see that? You see the Cecil? Yes, it sent the ball up just right there. So close. Too bad it didn't hit the rugby ball and knock it down. Hmm, it really looked like it was gonna do it. Guess it just wasn't the way to knock the rugby ball down from the branch. No, but the ball and Cecil would still come in handy. Yo, Pixie Pixel, how's it going? Uh, we're trying to solve this puzzle. My smooth brain is not working. What is this? Uh, what is going on? Look at that funny flattened ball. It's the same shape as that horrible Mino. But it's too far to swap from here. Even this ball is staring and starting to look at horrible to me. Hmm, we have to find a way to get closer to that Mino thing. I say knock it down from the tree. There must be something I can do. Ugh. Oh. Oh shit, that's still too, too, too short. Fuck. Uh. Yeah, I still can't reach that. What the You died. Oh, what am I supposed to do? The only thing is the umbrella. I don't under I don't get the umbrella thing. Come on. I'm sure it would open. Higher. So here he comes. Here comes the dog. Oh, 
Oh man, I'm glad they made this a port because not everybody wants to fill the emulators or a proper DS capture. I mean, with the DS capture, you literally have to hack, like literally hack and hack and saw your DS, and I don't want to do that with my DS. The emulator is actually not bad, to be honest. They have some pretty good uh, DS emulators, but you know, some people are just afraid of that. But yeah, it's pretty good, Pixel Pixie. The only thing is that my brain is too smooth, so a lot of these puzzles are probably simple, but I'm just not seeing the solution. Uh, my brain. Come on, there we go. Heavy, the seesaw won't budge, maybe it's because of the swap I made. I guess a little bulk. to be the baseball or the or the basketball mm. Frank, the entire fun of this game is bonkers. The quasi logic solution puzzle. Yeah, that's the thing. That's why it's like so good. Because then you're thinking, oh, I could really do that and whatnot. It's really good. Okay, so that didn't work out well. didn't work out. So the only thing is the basketball. Shit. The only thing I really wish this game could have is actually you can just, just flip back just a little bit more. Like, not the whole thing. Ah, fudge. What is that guy? Oh my god, it's a cow butt. Thank you. 
Buddha, Morgan. How you doing, Hepmine? Guten Morgen. Smoke bacon slabs they are oh, nice oh my any particular seasoning or just like the good standard stuff Oh no, he's stuck. Shit, he's stuck. Oh god, I gotta do it again. Oh, what am I doing wrong? Oh. No. Shit. Am I doing wrong? Oh, maybe I should close? Hmm. Okay, I really, really hurry. Okay, we're here. Definitely that basketball is gonna be used somewhere.
Ow! 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 Maybe... Okay, maybe... Okay, okay. Now I know what to do. Now I know what to do. I have to switch the ball with the tire to make it heavier. That's what I'm supposed to do. Shit! How, why the f did I not realize that in the beginning? Oh my god, I'm so bee-brained. Smooth brain. My brain's too smooth. Uh, okay. Doggy. There you go. There we go. God damn it. I should have realized that in the beginning. It took me how long to figure this out? Oh my god. <laughs> Almost took 30 minutes. But the ball, he there. I think I can do it. Just a few seconds, you'll be able to swap Mino with the leaf. And then from here, you can swap the Mino one more time. Final moments is near. Missile, are you ready? You bet! Oh my god. It took forever to figure that out. Three. Two. One. Switch that. Okay, watch me, Sissel. Here I go. Finish the touches. You can do it. Swap Mina with that ball. Yeah, dude! Oh, uh, Blur Fugle. Thank you so much for the follow. There, how's that? My head has been spared. Truly was a try worthy of the gods. And now Mino is right where it belongs. We did it again, didn't we? We did it again! So cute. Fate averted! Oh my god. Yes! No, now nobody has to die! Unenhanced. Unenhanced. Except for one... Brave little somebody. Huh? I'm talking about you, Missile. Oh, me? I guess you're right. I'm still dead, aren't I? So now let's go back and save your life. Wait a minute. What is it? Now that I think about it, I think I want to stay dead a little longer. What? When I was alive, I couldn't even help Miss Camellia when she was in trouble. I want to be able to protect Miss Camellia, and I, to do that, I need these powers I have now. I see. Perfectly understandable. Even though I wish I had powers like that. Hey, we just saved you. Don't wish your life away already. Of, of course. You're right. Okay, Missile, have it your way. By the way, Mr. Reckless Youth, there are a certain detective who needs that music box you found. When we get back to the present, could you give it to her? Certainly, you have my word. Let's go back then, do the present! Oh, Missile, so cute. <laughs> so cute. Yay, okay. And now we got stuff. So Camellia ended up in the hands of the kidnappers. We weren't able to change that part. Lynn listened to my story without saying anything. I'm sorry, I wish there was something else I could have done. No, you did your did the best you could. I'm sure she's alright after all. After all, she has me! Missile, are you in there? <laughs> Miss Lynn! Leave Miss Camellia to me! I don't know. I don't. I know I don't look much. Uh, I don't look like. I don't look like much right now. But I'm sure I can help her. Missile. So cute. Eek! Oh no! 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 Oh god. Miss Lynn! Oh no! No, Missile! No! Oh god. I'm going to leave it up to Missile. Let the winds of fate bring you to where you need to be. It kind of looks like Missile left uh, up to the wind. Ooh. Oh god, this guy's creepy. I have something to give you. Stop the park from being turned into a housing site. Protect the park. The Rock of the Gods. Are you forgetting your promise? Oh, pardon me, pardon me. My apologies, this is for you. Oh. Where the hell does she keep that in her ass? You kept the music box safe, didn't you? Thank you. 
Not at all, I was only doing what the Rock of the Gods would have wanted. What's the matter, cat got your tongue? He's mesmerized by my beauty. <laughs> hey, cat's not allowed to have your tongue. Excuse me, but are you? No, it couldn't be. Have we met before? Aren't you? Aren't you the little girl from that time? I'll never forget it. It was 10 years ago in this park. 10 years ago? Are you talking about... Uh-oh. Here it is in this park. The gods surely control fate. Today, 10 years from now that day, we meet once again. If it isn't the power of the gods, then what else is? Could it be just a coincidence? But apparently you know our lady, our lady detective here. Could you tell us about what happened? About what happened 10 years ago? Yes, yes, of course. I was actually about to just do that. Rock of the Gods. What is this Rock of the Gods you keep mentioning? Don't you know? It's right there in front of us. Oh, missile. Missile. Wait a minute, you mean by God, but you mean dogs? Of course not, don't be silly. It's no time for ridiculous word games. You are standing just above the Rock of the Gods now. Take a look, a good look at that monument. Monument? Rock of the Gods, Tebsic Park. The Rock of the Gods. Oh, it's the meteor down there. The rock is buried in the ground right there. It's been uh, there these 10 years. Even. Even since that day, it flew down from the heavens and showed us a miracle. Miracle? Wait a minute. So then, did the meteorite kill the dude? This rock is a meteorite? Precisely. It dropped from the sky on that day ten years ago. Of oh, yes, of course. Surely you know all about it. Me? That day, I just happened to be passing through this park. I had no idea that day would change my destiny. The sun was going down, and through the gloom, I heard the scream of a little girl. Eek! Now, just calm down and drop that weapon. No, stay back. If you come any closer, I'll shoot her. Is that a plunger? I peeked fearfully from the bushes and saw some shady, f shadowy figures. I didn't see the face of the criminal clearly. I knew I should do something to help, but I couldn't move. The tension was so thick, it was, so p it was painful. Just when I couldn't stand it any longer, that's when it happened. The sky suddenly turned bluish-white. When it crashed into the ground, the meteor I gave off a shower of beautiful fragments. Then I saw it. One of those beautiful fragments pierced into the criminal's back. Oh shit! The judgment of the gods was brought down on the park that day, so he basically he didn't kill anybody, D Detective Jode. He basically killed no one! Okay, that's interesting. Okay. Ten years ago, the little girl was you. Was saved by the rock god. Rock of the gods. I can't believe it. The rock of the gods was given the name Tempsic. And still today, it lies sleeping deep in the park's earth. Interesting. I never knew about this Tempsic. I always thought Detective Jode was the one who saved me. You were very young then. You passed out from the shock of being taken hostage. Of course you wouldn't remember. But that's funny. A huge incident like that would have caused quite a stir. It's strange you never heard of it, Lynn. It is, isn't it? But now that I think of it, I remember that I didn't want to think about what happened. I avoided the news and never came to this park again. That's why I didn't know about anything. 
The meteorite was named Tensic after the name of this park that it fell in, and the rock of the gods was forgotten. Now an awful thing is happening. They're turning, they're talking about turning the park into a housing site. I'll never forget that miracle I witnessed that day, and I've taken up residence in this park and trying to appeal to the people. Protect the park, the rock of the gods. That is my mission. I see. Oh, poor Missile. I'm taking you with me, Missile. So the 10 years ago, the little girl that was Lynn wasn't aware of the meteor. I get that, but Detective Jode, on the other hand, there's no way he didn't know about this Tempsic thing. And if he knew, and then the man died, I took his life. What was that confession of his all about? The rock of the gods that fell from the sky 10 years ago changed the destinies of many people's lives, like the ripples on a pond when a pebble is dropped in. This is very, very poetic stuff. Not gonna lie, very descriptive. This is very good. With every answer I get, I learn about a new mystery. Will I be able to break the chain of mysteries before dawn? Anyway, now that we have the evidence we need, we decided to meet up again at the minister's office. Besides, there are a few things I want to ask Detective Joe. This is quite interesting, to be honest. We found the music box, Detective Joe. Good job, Lynn. I knew you would. Everything... Once everything had resolved, I wanted uh, you to give this to him. Him? You mean Inspector Caminella, right? I don't suppose he'll ever forgive me. <laughs> Detective Joad. Now then, let's get this thing open. There's a certain knack to doing it, you know? It's like about being bad luck. How could about bad luck be pierced by an arrow with fragments? Splash damage not even full thing. I know, right? And basically splash damage giving you a KO, apparently? That's insane. Well, we're gonna see what happens. See? He calls it a knack. It looks like more like brute strength to me. There you are. You should uh, find scorch marks on the grip. Scorch marks? When Camellia bit her contraption, she was used a kind of special string. It's kind of magicians to use that. Burn up in an instant disappears. Why would little Camellia do use something like that? I don't know. Maybe it's because she's a detective's daughter. Not leaving any evidence behind and all that. In this case of the report, there was mention of some scorch marks. When it happened, Camellia was watching from her hiding place. She saw the flame uh, run to the gun, something naturally she didn't include in her design. It I took the gun out of the frame and replaced it with a picture. If you remove the picture, you should find scorch marks behind the frame too. Those marks should match it up with the gun, the ones on the gun. In other words, it proves the contraption existed there in that room that day. And that, it didn't work the way your little girl intended, is that right? Exactly, some cowardly a culprit modified the design. But that angle was never brought up in court. So, as Justice Minister, I must call off the execution at this point. Yay! I knew I was right. It wasn't Detective Jode, now that we finally prove it. Thank goodness. <laughs> Thank you, Lynn. In those eyes of yours, I see the eyes of that little girl from 10 years ago. Guys, we get to talk to everybody. Hmm. What's the matter? I just don't know. 
What should I have done five years ago? Back then, nobody had any no knowing of the true nature of the manipulator. It wasn't anybody's fault that we didn't know the truth. Do you really think so? Of course. Besides, what's important now is... Deciding what to do next, am I right? She's right, Mr. Minister. Y yes yes of course. I do believe she is. Hmm. What is it now? I just don't know what I should do next. What should I do next? You'll figure it out. I we believe in you. Okay. Let's talk to Sissel. If you hadn't come to my cell tonight, I would have been gone by now without ever having known any of this. This is what I deserve. That's what I told myself this past five years. But things are different now. Thanks to you, my eyes have finally been opened. And I, I've come into contact with a lot of people's lives and got involved in their fates. The only reason why I was doing it was to regain my own lost memories. But things are different now. We've connected to each other somehow. I just know it. And that's why I need to ask you a few more questions in order to find the truth about us. Fair enough, fire away. All right, manipulator. Sissel told us all about it, Detective Jode. About the manipulator. Yes, and it looks like this manipulator really did a number on the minister too. <sighs> Please don't pick on the minister. If he dies again, I'm the one who has to save him. Oh. Sissel, do you think... Do you think that's what happened to me, too? Hmm? What are you talking about, Lin? Don't tell me. You were manipulated, too? There was always a part of me that just couldn't believe it. The image of the one who shot me. But now I see a possibility of a new explanation. <laughs> that sucks. But who is it, and why did they do it? Camellia's contraption. That contraption was a birthday surprise for Camellia's mother, wasn't it? That's right. Something's been bothering me about it. I feel like I know that device from somewhere. No surprise there, you lost your life once tonight because of that machine. Right? I knew it, see, Detective Jode? No, I'm afraid I don't see. I told Detective Jode about it. I told him about seeing the same exact contraption tonight in a completely different place. That's a very strange indeed. A junkyard in the edge of town? I've never even heard of the place. What's more, I've never told a single soul about that contraption. You haven't? Hmm, that old pigeon guy. Who in the world is he? Uh-oh. Detective Joe, you must have heard this name before. Tempsick. The meteorite that fell in the park ten years ago, you were there. Oh, he knows. So you found out about that, didn't you? I heard about heard that meteorite saved little Lin's life. That's right. I couldn't do anything to help Lin that day. But in that case, I don't get it. If it's true, that means doesn't mean does doesn't it mean that you didn't steal somebody's life away? What are you talking about? Detective Jode, you told me that ten years ago, the person who killed the perpetrator in the park was you. What? But it was the meteorite. I wasn't lying. I stole that man's life away. No question about it. It was entirely my fault. Why? I was just about to shoot him. I would have shot him in the next instant if the meteorite hadn't come. At that point, I was already a murderer. What do you mean? We didn't shoot him. Hello, Nick is here. How's it going? I'm doing good. We're having some good times with the uh, ghost trick here. That's not true. You're trying to save me. Lynn, I'm sorry, but... Good. Huh? Let's see what we got here. She was about 10 years ago. On that day 10 years ago, a different incident happened in another place. Another place? Yes. The... How much does a roof cost? I mean, if you're looking to replace it, it costs a couple thousand dollars. It costs nothing because it's on the house. Oh, that's a very, very good dad joke. I do like that. I do like that. That's really, that's pretty good Nick is here hat. If you like good dad jokes, we do have a dad joke uh, command. X 
exclamation point dad joke. It's not used here very often, but once we get rolling, that dad joke uh, generator is very good. Now, not exclamation point daddy. I daddy fart. <laughs> I d it's exclamation point dad joke. Dad joke. Here's one. Coffee has a tough time at my house. Every morning it gets mugged. <laughs> oh, that's so good. That's really good. Dad joke approved. The worst part, a sort of incident. A suspect who was being questioned escaped. Well, I didn't know about that. How much does the chimney cost? It's got to do with the stack. I know that. Oh, it's prices through the roof? Oh my god. That's clever. Hi, Pete. How's it going? We're talking, we're, we're going on, uh, everybody, I'm not, I'm not a favorite streamer. Shush. We're having some fun, uh, figure out puzzles here, learning about the story, about this thing here, and we're learning about more dad jokes. So, Nick here's, uh, the, the, bringing, been bringing the dad jokes. But how you been doing, uh, Pete? I happen to be there, be there in the division, detective division, so I joined the chase. No puns. Oh my god, Goucher, that's really cute. Tuesday, yes it is Tuesday. Fortunately, or I guess unfortunately, I was able to track him down alone in the park. Hold it right there. I fired a warning shot. I wanted to catch him bad. Everybody, yeah, every I love puns. Food puns, any puns. And I even make very, very bad puns. Would you rather eat a full, huge uh, Chipotle burrito or a Cabo meal? Like, how huge is huge? If you're talking about the standard huge Chipotle one, then I'd rather eat Chipotle than McDonald's. The burrito? Oh, okay. I would rather eat Chipotle. I'm not a big fan too much of McDonald's. Double everything? Oh my god. I can't eat that much. I'd be, like, dead. I'd like too much food. That warning shot made him panic. I can only also eat like half a burrito roll. And I save it for like a second meal. At the time, I was young and green detective brandishing my sense of justice like a sword. I ordered that one and they need to wrap it three times Jesus. But Chipotle comes with guacamole. Yeah, I know. And chips. You gotta get them chips. They're pretty good. Yeah, that literally is like, what, three meals in itself, uh, Nick? I made him panic and got you involved with it. It's all my fault. Detective Jode. All I could do, uh, all I could see was my target. I didn't even see you. I'm so sorry, Lynn. So the man who grabbed me died that day. These last 10 years, I've never forgotten his face, and the few, few years after that, when my wife Alma died in such a mysterious way, I thought it was fate, my punishment for what I've done. I painted pictures in my cell, nothing but portraits of people's faces. All the faces of the many people I've met in my life and didn't want to forget. And tonight, I finished my last portrait, the final face I wanted to remember. It was Sissel's face. The final face was the face of the man in the park that day. Wait just one minute. That can't be. I saw that painting. I saw the face you painted tonight. It was my face. Are you telling me I was the man in the park that time? <gasps> oh, this is getting spicy. Spicy! Spicy salsa spicy. That's right. That face of yours is the face I saw 10 years ago. That face of the man whose life I stole the man. The man who was pronounced dead at the sea. 
Oh, hold on, Detective Jode. I can't be sure I just met Sizzle for the first time tonight. And he died right in front of me. By the way, the name I know the man in the park that day by isn't Sizzle. What? The first a minute I laid my eyes on you tonight, I've been wondering, who in the world is this guy? I, I... Oh, they all got scared. Mr. Minister, Inspector Cabanella, where are you? Just to be, uh, just be quiet and listen. This is our demand. What? Demand? Uh oh, Cabanella. Oh, I wonder if Cabanella is the cause of this. Our demand hasn't changed. The execution must be. Oh, he's being manipulated. Once we've confirmed that it's been carried out, we'll release the hostage. What are you talking about, Inspector Cabanella? And you know it isn't my doctor who was abducted. Does it really matter who a hostage is? A life is a life. Even if it's the daughter of a death row prisoner. Once a criminal gets the punishment he deserves, the hostage will go free. Carry out that execution immediately and await our call. What is it, Mr. Minister? You look even paler than... Well, what in the world? What is going on, Inspector Cabanella? The rock of the gods that fell head in the sky ten years ago twisted the fates of many people and started a chain of tragic events. And even now, the, tra the chain grows, continues to grow even longer. Inspector Cabanella's call proved, but proved that to us. All the greatest mystery of all has risen to the surface. Who is this me I've been chasing all night? Who am I? It's like the Jackie Chan movie name. I even further I, I'm even further from knowing than what when I started. Is this is like a Jackie Chan movie, except it's not like Kung Fu style. Who am I? That's funny. Okay, so we're on chapter 15. We got three more chapters to go, I think. Ten years ago, a name named Sissel took a little girl uh, named Lynn hostage and then was killed by a meteor fragment. How was he alive? Tonight, a man named Sissel met a detective named Lynn at the junkyard at the edge of town that was killed by a bullet. The scene I find waiting for me on the end of the other phone line feels like the final nail in the coffin of my lost memory. Oh shit. What the fuck? Woo! What? I see myself. Oh shit, what the? How many copies of him are there? There you are, Commander Smith, finally. Sissel, where have you been, my good man? We've been looking everywhere for you. I had a little unfinished business to take care of. Didn't think it would take this long. What about your people? They sure went out their uh, way to mess me up. I say, I believe we fulfilled every one of your conditions in our deal. What right do you have to complain about anything outside of bargain? We can talk about that when we get together. This will be our last communication by telephone. We'll arrive in one hour. I look forward to seeing you, Sissel. Dawn is approaching, the darkness surrounding my own mystery is deep, but I know it's always darkest before dawn. Wow, okay, this has really gotten crazy. Yes, we're nearing the final stages of our deal. Little deal, my good man. Yes, sir, all preparations are complete, sir. And we just had a report, sir, of lights have been spotted, sir. Have they now? By all means, let me have a look. Yes, we're very close. We will now disconnect from the communication cable and have no service until we arrive, sir. Very well. Oh, he's in a submarine? Oh, shit.
Nice try, Inspector Cabanella. You could never stop me. See ya, sucker. Okay. Well, this is very dire. So, that submarine guy and his people have a deal going on with me, do they? If that's the case, they probably aren't the ones who kill me, right? Anyway, there's done. There's definitely something behind the inspector's death. I think I'd better talk to him. Jesus, that's crazy. Hey, do you think you can wake up for me? Oh boy, so unconscious, eh? I guess he hasn't been dead for very long then. I'll just go ahead and go back four minutes before his death. I'm a little nervous about what I might see, though. But if it's where I'm gonna find my answers, I can't run away. Rewind time. Once the criminal gets the punishment he deserves, the hawk will go free. Carry out the execution and await our call. That's a good boy. Gee, a hostage sure is a handy thing. Gives me complete control over the top police inspector in the country. Ugh. What's the matter? All those broken bones? Smart of- Oh shit. What's it like to feel pain? Does it make you feel alive? Why are you doing this? Now, is that any kind of question for a top inspector to ask? Isn't it? Revenge, of course. Revenge on all the people who stole my life ten years ago. Oh, so... Shit, so this guy basically possessed him? Oh, he's like multiple copies of him? Don't be ridiculous. It was a meteorite that stole your life, or have you forgotten that? Oh shit, he's burning his own hand. Oh god. I was murdered by all of you. Detective Joe who chased me down and forced me into a corner, even though I was innocent. Lynn, that girl who was running there when I was running. Lynn, she's just an innocent little girl playing in the park. If that brat hadn't been there, I never would have thought of taking a hostage. Not her fault. That is the most self-centered garbage I've ever heard. And finally you, Inspector Caminella. You hadn't done what you did. Would have never pointed a gun at that kid. I'm so proud of your spotlight. My case was one blot on it, but only two people know the road trip. Me and Detective. I bet tonight's execution will be quite a relief, Bill Warner. One of the people who know about the stain on your record will disappear. That's why you didn't help him escape from prison. That's the kind of guy you are. I got nothing to say to you. You'll never listen anyway. Oh god, how the hell does he... Oh, okay. So, so he didn't die? He got it. Now then, Inspector. Time to make a big red stain in that spotless white. This was another condition of my deal. Why about everyone who knew about Tempsic? Okay, well, this is getting very spicy. Very, very, this is habanero spicy. Revenge? Is that what I'm up to? None of this makes any sense. Hey, man. Mind telling you what's going on? It's like Cabanelli's awake. My head's spinning, baby. Am I un to understand that Cabanelli character just got shot at me? Uh, that's right. And you're supposed to be the scoundrel who there who just shot me? Uh, I guess, but you couldn't be, couldn't you? Huh? Control, the guy in the red suit just walked the door, right? So, who are you? I guess I have to just face you. I'm not that Sicil guy. I'm someone who's searching for himself. That's why I'm here to save you. And at the very least, you have information about that guy in red. Information. You came to the rescue mission, didn't you? Nothing like the sound of that, baby. Because there's a very important life 
here somewhere a valuable life to this nation. Okay, so do your thing, baby. <laughs> Look at him. There's something emanating from his body. Is it a real sign of having special powers of the dead? That's a good boy. So we got that. So you are a manipulator too? I have ghost tricks. Uh, power to the dead, yeah, but I can't control living figure. Uh, uh, creature. Anywho, I think you'd be very careful. That guy in red is a manipulator. Naturally, he knows about powers like that. If he realizes you're here, things might get a little sticky. You're right, I better be careful. Alright. Mm. Helmet rock. Oh wow, look at this place. What in the world happened here? I think I'm starting to remember. Something bad happened here, and now there's another death lying hidden here. Oh shit, really? What, another death? Didn't I tell you from the start? I didn't say there was a very important very important life valuable to the nation here. I thought you were talking about you. I'm just a crazy character in a white coat, baby. Okay, so who- Oh shit, the professor is dead. Hey, come to think of it, where is that old pigeon guy? Open the box. Oh god, okay, he's there. Measuring device is, is some kind of device. Very observation. Uh, sorry my memory isn't working. Yeah, mine isn't working too well right now either. I do remember seeing somebody use this book though. Oh dear. Uh, excuse me. Unconscious. Are you awake? Of course. I never sleep during work hours. Professor, do you recognize me? There's only one crazy character in white coat that I know of. He hasn't lost his memory. I'm not the type who likes losing things, but never mind that. Caminella, this is quite a surprising guest you brought. Pretending like he didn't just blow up the place. Are you talking about me? Oh, this is a different guy. I'm his guest, actually. He said he came to rescue us. Unlike you, my sharp friend, he still hasn't gotten his memory back. Hmm. Pitiful. Yo, Bass, how's it going? How you doing? Happy Tuesday. Ouch, that hurts. Anyway, we'll be going back to four minutes before your death in order to change your fate back. But aren't we already in the past, man? But we can go back even further. I've done it before. I still don't see a path to saving Inspector Cabanello. We go back further, maybe I'll find a lead. Not doing bad, doing some mandible missions and 14 because you're behind. Yeah, I think I only did... I think I've only did the one, the one, I think. The one Manderville. This was like a long time ago. I think the one I remember is when the father just literally like punched his son into the ground or something like that. So I don't know how far, how farther I have left. I think I only have to do like, what, three expansions worth? Cause there's only like, what, four or five of them in total? How many times do I have to tell you, Professor, this place is dangerous? Don't be daft, I can't leave now. He's completely dead. But just as I thought, I'm getting reading. This is the source of his power. If I remove it... Yeah. 
There's, he's not dead, he's just not there. The true form of the manipulator isn't something you can detect with the spear. So you figured it all out, huh? Yo, Roy, how's it going? How have you been, man? Long time no see. Hope you're doing- oh boy. I live! You're a clever man, Inspector Candela. We're playing some really good uh, puzzles with uh, ghost, ghost, ghost Trick, Phantom Detective. Have you ever heard of this game? It's so good. So it's true, you are. I waste a lot of time tonight because of the Inspector. Is that the old deal we departed up to? Yes. Big uh, racing sale. Well, it's nice! Good for you, Roy. Hope everything's going well with the races. Getting some of that nice sea air as well. Yo, Bakun, how you doing? I hope you're doing well, my friend. Yeah, so we're playing this game. This game is so good. I, I wanted to play this for the longest time when it came out BS, and now I finally got my wish on the port. So good. such good story we're going over, but it's all just like you said. I died ten years ago. This body is just a vessel. A shell. I control everything, the shell, people, just like I controlled the Justice Minister, Minister and Lin. Beauty for a second time dies. So it's true, you manipulated my baby that time? You inspired me? Oh really? Ah, oh, nice! Good, I'm glad made her shoot your shell. But why would you do a thing like that? Create a conclusive evidence shell on that security tape. Now she's a murderer too. She'll suffer just like what like Joe did. If any, if any, if any I think I'm not an inspiration. Parker. You, do, you do the inspiring yourself. You've inspired yourself. And that's what counts. Now, Professor, I'm afraid it's time for you to die. I don't have any grudge against you. I'm even grateful to you. Oh yeah? So then why don't you let me live then? I'll be leaving this country forever tonight. Yo, Montreso, how's it going? Before I do, seeing you play the game inspired you to play again. Nice, nice. Okay. I need to erase all evidence that these powers of mine exist. Along with this contraption in this room. I don't like evil Sissel. I don't like it. This time, the thing will work the way it was meant to be, and it'll be all over. Cupid won't turn this time. He'll shoot his little arrow this way. Oh shit, there's a bomb. Goodbye. Professor, look out! Oh shit. Damn. Cabanella got smacked. Dynamite, eh? When the devil did he put that there? He planned it all out tonight. Having my baby shoot him, having his corpse disappear. His corpse disappear? That medical examiner, remember him? He was a complete and utter imposter. He said he was going to take the corpse back to the lab, but he had already made a deal with the manipulator to meet him and give him the body back. I wasn't going to let that happen, baby. You saw through their plan, eh? I noticed right away uh, the medical examiner didn't know a first thing about examining the body. I knew he was a fake, so I tracked him down and bought him off. Bought him off? I had him smuggle the corpse to this room. I thought we could find the source of his powers, but of course, never in my wildest dreams that his abilities were the powers of the dead. Bakun, did you finish playing this? If you didn't finish playing this, don't watch me play. I don't want to spoil this for you. Anyway, there isn't much time. He's leaving the country before dawn, and I'm going to follow him, of course, after I save you. Something's been nagging me on the back of my mind. I remember what Ray said to me tonight. He said that the spirits cease to exist when the day breaks. But if that's true, how could a spirit from ten years ago still be here? Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. So you're just joking. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 
my smooth brain has been too smooth from all these puzzles. I've been struggling a little bit with them. I know sarcasm doesn't uh, go well text. No time to think about that now, baby. Action is name of the game. Work your magic, take us further into the past. Alright, so we got shit to do here. This is gonna be interesting. Alright, man, jump in there and stop the explosion, would you? Easy enough for you to say. Foolish for you to say, too. If you stop the explosion, he'll just do me in some other way. Fair enough, then jump in there and take care of the man in red room. I repeat, easy enough for you to say. And most likely impossible to boot. That huge explosion didn't even make him bat in the way. Well then, what do you propose we do, Professor? Pray tell. Your best bet is to save me during the explosion without him noticing. Easy enough for you to say, sheesh, what's with all these people? Any hoots, jump in there and do something. Exam. What in the world is this thing? It's a device that has meteorite data entered into it. It detects tempsic radiation and it responds. Got that, kid? It's a lovely thing. I guess sometimes it's important not to think about things too much. <laughs> what a sorry pair. Okay, so we have... What do you think you're doing? I just thought I'd try it out. If you do that, um, doing that, uh, oh, if you're going to set the contraption in motion, oh yeah, I just thought he just thought he'd blow me up. That's what he thought. Oops, that was my bad. But there aren't a whole lot of things I can use my tricks in this room. is to open this door. Okay. So in the middle of the explosion, I have to open that door. Okay. I can't open this door with him on it. As you perhaps have already noticed, the time is running out, baby. Yeah, perhaps about it, I know. But you know, there aren't a whole lot of things I can use my ghost Looks like this is all over. Unless I find another path, we're sort of deadlock here. Tissel. Hey, I know that voice. Help me. Where are you? Find me. Before I'm carried away. Hmm? What's with that frail sounding voice for calling for help? He's here somewhere. A friend of yours? Yep, a little guy that looks a little fragile but has a strength that you'd be surprised. Well, he's asking you to find him. And before he's carried away, no less. But I'm almost out of time. Should I look for him? Oh, there he is. Yay! Thistle, I'm here! Oh, hey, it's... Missile! What are you doing here? Did you really have to ask? Seriously, are you go Are you really going there? Uh, no, that's okay, never mind. Anyway, I need your powers. Will you help me out? Of course! Here, let me come join you. Missiles, so cute, I love it. Here I am, okay, here I am, Thistle. Now, maybe 
things will flow in a new direction, even though the flow of the sewer is a little bit stinky. Fate changed. Okay. Um, okay, let's stop that explosion. Uh, no, we can't do that. Okay, let's take care of that man in red then. No, we can't do that either. We can't do this. We can't do that. What can we do? Let us let. We'll, we just let the explosion happen. Then we rescue the old man without the the old pigeon guy without the man in red nose. And your powers are the key to all this missile. Oh, I don't know about that, but I'll do my best. Talking about a matter of seconds, we can't miss our chance. Those squeaky uh, guys are making a fuss about something. Thistle, my animal instincts are starting to surface. You mean you want to chase them? I think you better be alive to do that. Hmm. There's something must. There must be some kind of rat beast in that trash can. Those things are usually making a bigger commotion than that. Bigger commotion, eh? Oh shit, look at that rat gang! Now that's what they call a proper commotion. They're making the trash can dance. Truth be told, I feel kind of like dancing myself now. It's getting harder to hold back my wild instincts back. What a dangerous bunch. Oh shit, okay. How do you use my powers? Yeah, we did it. Okay. You can swap things that look like it has the same shape. Oh, really? What's the difference? As I was being told, uh, being carried by the wind and falling into the river, I realized something. If you look at a thing from different angles, it looks different. You know, that's a pretty good point for a dog who came from this into the sewer. Oh, shit! Okay, okay, okay. Oh! Oh shit, that's actually pretty cool. Shit. Uh... Yes, we can actually switch. Oh no. Okay, we can actually switch the trash can lid. Ho 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 ho! Not yet. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. Look out! Oh, so, so I didn't do it in time. Shit. Okay. Uh, good lord. Okay. Okay. After fate change. Okay, so now I know because. It took me a while to think about it, what was the timing of it, but now I know the timing. Okay, nice. Nice, nice, nice. So that's actually very clever. I like that a lot. Come on. Okay. 
Please get that blade over. There we go. Look out! There we go. Got it. We got it. Sorry, little pigeon. As for you, Inspector. Ugh. I have a little job for you. Can't move. I think I've broken four or five bones. I don't mind. I won't prevent you from manipulating. It won't prevent you from manipulating. It won't prevent me from manipulating you. Might make it hurt a little bit when I move you, though. Quite a bit, actually. Karabinara got blasted to heck. Yeah. Damn you. Okay, so at least the uh, at least the doctor is safe. I can't believe it. You actually pulled it off? Sorry, Inspector Caminella. I didn't do it. I couldn't do anything to help you. And there I am, a poor broken heap of arms and legs. But no matter, I enjoyed the show. The magic disappearing act. That is nothing like a baby. Yeah, except, unlike a normal magic trip, I'm the one who managed to vanish here without trace. Okay, so this is really cool. Shit. What's the matter? You look like you'd rather be dead. Not that you aren't. I was just remembering the fact right there, right now, about now. The real me is giving the poor justice minister a real fright. On that phone call? Yeah, he was pretty upset. I'm um, excuse me, mister. You really shouldn't be mean like that. And what's this lively little creature? Oh, this little doggy is the warrior who keeps Camellia safe. Or he would be if he was actually still full of life. Camellia. Gods in heaven, what a terrible thing. That poor little girl taken hostage. As a cruel twist of fate, indeed. Wait, just a minute. Miss Camellia is a hostage? Yes, we're sorry, little warrior. M Miss Camellia, a hostage? What's a hostage? <laughs> oh, God, you poor cutie. Anyway, Inspector Cabanilla. It's time to save your life now. But you couldn't get very far before when you tried before, right? But this time is different, right, Cecil? That's right. The writing is so good. I kind of miss a lot of the stuff in games like this. With us working together, it's like a whole different situation. And it's like, I think it's like a whole thing back in like the 2000s. We save the inspector in white and we go rescue Camellia, okay? Okay, let's hurry up and get through this. Gee, kids, you're making me feel like an afterthought. You're an afterthought, dude. Alright, let's get started. Inspector Caminello is upstairs. First up is to get up there. Sissel, I'll go up first and wait for you. Alright, uh, Lobby Dove, we need your help. Carry this measuring device upstairs. It's got Mr. Ghost in it, so don't drop it. Oh, look at the little Lovey Dove. Oh, that's so cute. There we go. There you are, Sissel. Sorry for the wait, missile. Four minutes from now, the inspector will be killed by a gun. You just jumped in there and stopped him from firing, wouldn't you? Uh, there you go with again with that stuff. Besides, it doesn't make any sense. If you stop him from firing, he'll just kill you some other way. Wait a minute, that sounds familiar. Yep, the same situation as mine. Your best bet around this time is to allow him to shoot. Uh and then save Caminella without him noticing. Ooh, that's even worse than last time. Anywho, jump in, jump in there and do something. Okay, I'm ready to jump in, Sizzle. Don't forget, whenever you want to use my powers, just tap R2. Uh, no, I didn't know that, Bakun. Is he in, um... Was he in Phoenix Wright? Because I know the 
The same creators did Phoenix Wright. Then that these two hats have something. Sissel, could you explain something to me exactly how did this man in white die? Got shot with a gun. Gun, huh? I've always wondered about these things. How come people die when they hear the loud bang? Huh? Oh, why do they? I don't remember. Oh, brother, I hope I never lose my memory. The white coat here died because he got shot with a bullet. Bullet? A little lump of metal whose fatal one getting lodged in his head. Aha, I get it. It's like a little tiny Mino, right? Yeah, something like that. I guess different shape, though. In that case, I ought to be able to use my powers to save the man in white. Hey, good news, eh, white coat? You have this cameo role in the first Phoenix Wright. The technically gives you three options of high-tech police equipment. Here, the state Edgewiles, Edge, Edgeworth's name, a fishing pole, metal detector, and a missile. Oh my god. Doesn't anyone here just call me Campanella? Oh, so would the book be the one? That, that bad sister turned around. You have to call him that, but yeah, maybe it's your chance to try some ghost tricks. This is the only time he takes his eyes off of me, too. If you have something to do, do it now. I have to take the first steps towards saving the professor. never seen the girls world like this so you're here are are you he sensed my presence uh oh i notice you you think you can stop me do you uh oh when you choose missile the face gets so excited thinking about getting a missile rush uh, launcher except you gumshoe gives him please like the missile phoenix right makes this comment that it seems odd that a pomeranian's please like that's cool well it's also isn't it based off of the guy's actual pomeranian i don't know where you're why uh why you're wearing my face but you might as well give up now i control everything damn it everything including the life of this uh professor in white
Wait, don't shoot. Okay, so we messed that, that, that up. I guess using my powers right in front of the other me wasn't such a good idea, especially when somebody gets shot. I guess the only thing I can do is aim uh, for the break when he looks away. I just have to be sure I don't miss my chance. Damn, okay. I don't get the whole thing was um So he notices. Oh, he doesn't. Oh, shit. Okay, nice, 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 nice. I'm thinking it out. It doesn't see you. Oh, fuck! Hold on. Um, I was there something I should have done with the hat over there? Was I supposed to do something with that hat over there? With... with... Yes, yes, okay. Shit, okay. I got it. Okay. supposed to do that?
Oh, okay, 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 okay. Okay. Nice, 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 nice. Okay. That scared the shit out of me. Nope, nope, nope. It's no use. Even with my fire, there's nothing I can do. I don't see anything to swap the bullet with. I guess you didn't make it in time. I'm so sorry, Inspector Cavanaugh. I guess I have to try again today. Again? I'm gonna get shot again? Oh, what? Fuck. So then was it the hat? Questions they stated, uh, you need switchable to something with book. It looks like an old book, yeah, because there's the book that I just had before. It kind of looked like a bullet. And then there was the hat, the knitting hat that kind of looked like the bullet. To switch it out, but it didn't go to the gun.
So this is like, did you explain something for me? So you have to. Oh, okay, okay, got that. Do anything with this hat anymore. The book. Here's the helmet, here's the kettle, here's the freaking step ladder. Can't do anything because I'm sitting there. Here's the fact you can't switch a bullet after it leaves a gun. Nothing can fit in the gun, so you're looking for what a bullet does after it's been fired. So it probably has to do with after Camilla shoots him. Another fact, you can't switch the bullet until after it leaves the gun, and nothing but a bullet can fit in the gun. So what does a bullet look like after it leaves the gun? I'm very confused. 
Because the logic doesn't make sense here. Am I supposed to replace it with the net hat? But that's not... probably in front of my face, I just have no clue. I'm just like, what a work. than it does before it fired just a little lead projectile leaving the casing. But I don't see anything really small. Hi game guy, hey, how's it going? the hat or something like that but then being fired to the left so then it's gotta be the hat but oh wait 
wait, so maybe I shouldn't be using the other thing? Okay. I'm grand after rest. Oh! Happy birthday, Myth Game Guy. Was it yesterday? Hope you had a wonderful birthday. Oh, the 15th. Oh, it's... It is today. Oh, yesterday? Oh, it is, yeah. Happy, happy, happy belated birthday. to wait until he um he gets shot here Yeah, so it would have been the hat, but that's the thing, so. It's definitely the knit hat. That's the thing. It's gotta be the knit hat. But why? Take a break, yep. Take a break, Ash. You got this. This is really like a puzzle that's like so tricky. But it landed on the floor, so...
So then I should probably keep it on the hook then? Was the, the 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 knit hat? I figured it was something to do with it, but I was like, I wasn't sure. Okay, what do you think that? Okay, gotta be here with the same shape. Okay, that's what I thought. I was like, I wasn't sure. That's f okay. That's funny. Okay. I don't think he knows. Looks like you pulled off another disappearing magic disappearing act. Okay. Now I say again, I love that hat. So warm and most of all so hot. So soft. Did I do it all right? You did a fine job, little one. Saved another life. And I'll keep doing it too. Over and over. Thank you, Vogtun, for the hit. Now, what I just saw in these four minutes gave me all the answers I've been looking for. All our research these past ten years pales in comparison, right, Professor? You two are working together? That's about the size of it, yeah. Who would have believed a story about a manipulator? So we pursue it ourselves, just the two of us. I'm quite a crazy character myself, after all. Okay, let's hurry back to our time. We have to rescue Miss Camellia. You're right, Miss Isle, and there's a certain guy at fall, too. Oh, good god. These puzzles are tough, man. He's got to be very sore by now. After completing his revenge on Inspector Cabanella, the man in red left, and now a new story is about to unfold in a new present. How are you feeling, y'all? You, uh, you old crazy character? Hey there, Professor. We're both alive. I see yeah, nothing like a baby, but I don't know if I'm getting old or what. I got a few aches and pains here and there. Used to be a little thing like an explosion wouldn't bother me. Yeah, right. Like, I'm gonna believe that. So what? The guy in red is gone. Just in case I posted special investigating unit, investigation units around the building. Let's just pray the boys came through for us. Damn it, you picked a bad time for not listening to me, body of mine. If I knew things were going to end up like this, I would have tried to dive in that explosion, baby. That way I would have been dancing after Big Red by now. Mm. I might be able to erase the death, but it's true I can't do much about it. But really, you shouldn't talk that way. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm supposed you're right. I just feel- s I hate feeling so helpless. It was right there within my grasp. All your plants and are resting on tonight and then this had to happen. I guess he's thinking about the spotless record. Not too late, Inspector. We still have a chance. Maybe I can catch him. Say, you're right. That's not a bad idea. The will with you fully. Go ahead and fire away. Any questions you like, Mr. Ghost? Revenge. That guy mentioned revenge. Revenge against people who stole his life away ten years ago. <laughs> He's a fool. He's the only one who made the decision to take the little girl hostage and wound up dead. He only has himself to blame. But what about what he s when he said this? I was murdered by all of you. Detective Joe to force me in a corner. Lynn, the girl who was playing in the park. And finally you, Inspector Camanella. If you hadn't done what you did, you would have never pointed a gun at that kid. Yes, 10 years ago on that day, the Special Investigation Unit was working on a certain big case. We hauled in a young man, an important witness to our investigation. And then I did it. I made very two stupid mistakes. Detective, I'm telling you, I didn't know anything about it. Fine, you're under no obligation to talk, of course. But if you don't, especially... 
Investigation unit can make the rest of your life a living hell. But, but I... I've been assigned to the special investigation unit, you see. They didn't share much info on the big cases with a newbie like me yet, and I wanted to impress them. It was only supposed to be a matter... It was supposed to be a simple matter of taking a statement, but it was too green. I pushed him too hard, drove him into a corner, and made him lose all hope. That was my first mistake. Then I made another mistake on top of that. Uh-oh. Caminella, got a minute? The chief wants to see you about your report. Got it, I'll be right there. You stay right here and be a good boy now. And that's when I did it. I left the interrogation, uh, I left it behind the interrogation room, my gun. How could you? He used my gun to escape. What he said was true. If I hadn't made that mistake, he would have never had that gun to point at Lin in the first place. But that's not his fault. That's his own damn fault. We found him, we first found out about the manipulator's existence during a certain overseas communication. Overseas communication? For national security purposes, this country keeps tabs on communication network. Particular communication was about making a deal with a certain foreign country. He said he wanted them to buy him and his power. That's how we first heard about him. Of course, we didn't know what he looked like at the time. And in order to prove his powers of his, he gave him two predictions. He foresaw two completely preposterous impossible cases. May a case of a man who would sing the national secrets live concert broadcast. That's the way the dude's uh, brain works? Yeah. He shouldn't be blaming Wynn for that. In the case of a man who would take the chief commissioner hostage in his own office. Those two inmates in the special prison, eh? We keep tabs on those communications and launch an investigation. And finally, we pointed where they were going to meet tonight and stiked out. That restaurant's chicken kitchen. The manipulator plans on leaving this country tonight on a submarine that belongs to the other country in the steel. Submarine? We haven't been able to find out where it's going to surface. Terrifying to think of what would happen if his powers were to fall in their hands. Right, highly unlikely they would use it for peaceful purposes. Now they have that little girl as a hostage. We have to stop him before he leaves the country. Spotless record. The spellers record of yours. Is is it really that important to you? Of course, baby. In some ways it's more important than to me than life. Than your life, eh? After all, it's because of my record that I'm able to get my hands on all intel as special investigation. Because of my position, I get to direct all aspects of the investigation to the manipulator case. Manipulator case? Is that what why you cared about your record so much? Of course, why else, baby? I I just never could believe it, man. Jiao shooting Alma. I didn't care that he confessed. There was something definitely more to the story. Some secret. I did everything I could to climb the ladder. Everything in my power. And then I finally found the answer. Took five long years though. For the manipulator, he's going to prove that Jode is innocent. What an incredible determination. That definitely goes in play for some good BL story between Joe and Caminella. Caminella's determination. There's something weird. One thing I just don't understand. If you're so determined to help detect it, Did it for Joe. Why didn't you help him escape from prison? That's an easy one, baby. Escaping from prison is a crime. I wasn't about to help him commit a crime after sp spending five years trying to prove him innocent. He himself asked to be executed, you know. As a man of the law, I had to make sure the execution was stopped legally. And that's why I brought him before the minister, justice minister too. 
I needed by as much time as I could possibly could, baby. So that's it, eh? But there's one little unfortunate result of all this. Lynn completely misunderstood your intention. Haha, <laughs> what's a little misunderstanding, baby? My baby uh, will come around, give it time. There's one more... There's more things to do with our time tonight. Mr. Superintendent, do you mind if I talk to you for a minute? I haven't always been a junkyard superintendent. You used to be part of the police. Police, huh? Not a detective, but as a medical examiner, I investigated the victim's cause of death. Ten years ago, I was asked to autopsy a strange corpse. Hit by a meteorite fragment died instantly. That's what the report said. He would definitely, he, there were no signs of life. Definitely dead. I never filed an autopsy report. That's because the corpse suddenly vanished, leaving behind only one clue. An unusual corpse. I bet that's what I've been chasing all night. Could you tell me more? Yeah, sure. I have an interest in recovering your memory and finding your true identity, too. That's the only way I can describe it, too. An unusual corpse. He was dead, all right, no question about that. But there wasn't a scratch on it. Not a scratch, but I thought he was hit by a meteor fragment. I don't understand it any more than you do. Assimilated with his body, maybe? I was completely bewildered, but when I tried to autopsy him, I was even more puzzled. I couldn't perform the autopsy. Couldn't? What do you mean? The scalpel went in, but I couldn't cut. As soon as I tried to make an incision, it would heal up ins the very instant. That's how it went. No scarring or blood either. Hmm. And I never had the chance to solve the mystery. That's because the corpse up and vanished on me. The morgue is well guarded. Nobody could have stolen that body. But the only one way the corpse could have disappeared. What's that? Locked. That's it. He up and walked. Some freaky deaky stuff. It got up, opened the door, and walked on its own. What? He was dead, but he wasn't dead. We saw with our own eyes tonight, not even an explosion could kill him. He didn't even feel it when he slammed his fist on that stove. Yeah, I was right. Blue left behind. The corpse left behind some data from some testing. That's a reading of some kind of radiation coming off that bomb. Radiation? I used all kinds of instruments but couldn't determine what kind of radiation it was. Some undiscovered type from a world unknown. Wait a minute, could it be? That's right, it was coming from the meteorite fragment. I went to the park to test the spot where the meteorite fell, and just as I expected, detected radiation coming from that crater. It was the same exact pattern of the radiation of that corpse. At the time, I thought it was some type of immortal being. It could die only to come back to life. I wanted to research it all in depth, so I quit my job as a police medical examiner. Several years later, I came to learn the connection between my research and the manipulator cause, thanks to the arrival of this crazy character. Oh, stop now, Professor. Do you, see, do you want to see me blush? It was about a year ago, I say. This man in white came dancing into my research lab here. There was an oddball who's been researching Tempstick. Is that you, baby? Yeah, that's what I figured, Baku. Who are you calling anybody an oddball? 
I was investigating the manipulated case then. And then I heard there was a man who quit the police force to study the meteorite. And that's when I heard it was like a meteor had struck him in the head. Just at the same time we were starting to get leads on this manipulator. We didn't know who he was yet, but we knew he was communicating with a certain foreign country. In one of those communications we heard the manipulator say this. The source of my power is not of this world. And that's when I put two and two together, baby. The manipulator case of Temsic were somehow involved, uh, connected, which means explain how five years ago he used his power to manipulate a birthday surprise a little girl made for her mother. He added the gun to the contraption, most likely by controlling Camellia. That sucks. So the contraption in the basement here, you built that tried to help Detective Jode. That's right. Jode and I worked together back then when we were when I was in the force. I used to I used his reports to the case to try and to recreate the device, but there was just one part of it that I couldn't reproduce no matter how hard I tried. Amelia told Jode that something it shouldn't have made an impossible move. I had the part that to the device that recreated put a part that would allow the cupid to rotate otherwise the gun wouldn't fire so it must mean somebody manipulated Amelia's contraption as a result prove to ourselves that the manipulator actually existed inspector cabanella hey baby Hey, White Shadow, it's so good. I'm playing this, yeah, for the first time. I my brain is ch my brain is very very smooth, so I've been having trouble with the puzzles, but it's really good. I always wanted to play this for the longest time. Now I get to play it on PC from Capcom from the remaster. Sorry about the phone call. I must have sounded like a real villain. I hated to spoil your image of me. Of course, that cool cat inspector you've always looked up to. Is that really the image she had of him? Nah. Inspector Caminella, I'm sorry, I just heard. It's so good, White Shadow. How you doing, by the way, White Shadow? Hope you're having a good Tuesday. You were chasing after that man all this time and tried to help Detective Jode. The day was good. It was I'm pretty sleepy because I went to bed really late last night, so I'm a little tired right now, but we're trying. We're pushing through this puzzle. I was thinking maybe I could finish this tonight. I don't think I'm going to finish it tonight. Manipulator is such a dangerous character. I was hoping you didn't have to be involved. Well, that's why you had me arrested tonight, isn't it? Like I always said, if somebody's in the way, throw them in the slammer. Chillin'. Busy and happy. Nice. Oh, good for you. I'm happy for you. Why, Shadow? I still, yeah, I still have a little ways to go. So this is going to have to be for, like, another stream. Yikes. The night. I really thought we finally had him. But my body gave out on around me right at the critical moment. That's like a cruel joke. Ha 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 ha. What a joke is a joke. You might as well laugh. Jode. The minister called off the execution order. And while he was at it, he let Detective go uh, Jode go free until tomorrow morning, too. That's a pretty extreme while he was at it. The music is so good here. Sorry it took so long to get here. Can't leave the rest to me. There you go again, you've been always like that. You've made everybody else run around, then last, then you swoop in the last second. Jode. Oh, look at that. Five years ago, you left this coat with me just before you turned yourself in. I promise to give it back to you one day. Oh, that's so cute. Look at that. It's it's the dove. Look at that. Looking suave, dude. I've been waiting for so long, Detective Jode. Bye. Waiting for this day to come. If he was a hotter version of Detective Gumshoe, and a, and a smarter one, Detective Gumshoe is an idiot. Thanks for not giving up on me, Lynn. Okay, I'm off then. Good luck, my old friend.
This present you gave me is what I needed. Thank you. Glad you like it. Sissel, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. You and I have to go find that man. I need your help. Will you do this with me? Sure, but how? I mean, we don't even know where the submarine is. The phone line doesn't work. They use communication cables to make their call. We'll get you hooked up somehow. We'll see. Could you wait here uh, till we do, please? All right, fine. I'm having it. This true self you're looking for, I bet you'll find it soon. All right, I'm leaving. It's to Cabanella. It's almost dawn. I'm not who I thought I was. I'm actually further from knowing who I am than ever. But now I don't feel so alone. Each one of us, for his own, his or own, her own reasons, is looking for the truth. Together, I think we can shed light on these mysteries and drive away the darkness. But it's almost dawn. Okay, we're on chapter 16. Lynn kept her promise about getting me hooked up. About two hours before dawn, the phone rang. Now, why didn't they make that 420? Oh my god, what joke. I mean... Basically, we were the guy the entire time that Jode was chasing, right? So he was trying to meet with Lynn. I don't know. Um... So are you listening? We need your powers. No time to talk. We'll be waiting for you. Face complete. Um, I didn't really have any theories. The only other thing is that, like, um... So, we're, we are truly the one guy. So I want to say that maybe there was an alternate ego in the body. In the meteorite. And then he took it so that way he could take revenge or something like that. But I don't think that's the case. So unless he has like like a dual personality. Better get going. This is going to be a long night. Looks like it. Oh, thank you for tonight. I'm the one who should be thanking you. But I'm just trying to figure out about who Ray is. The only other thing is that, I mean, Ray is a guy. So it can't be... So it can't be, like, Camellia's mother. The other end of the phone line, I'm finally going to find all the answers. I better go. A single telephone line that connects me and the other Sissel, but that single line spreads out like a spider web to ensnare the fates of many people. And I just uh, reached the center of the web. Welcome to the Yo Noah, Detective Jode. <laughs> My detective senses, uh, sense must have gotten rusty. I didn't even sense your presence in the dark. That's because I switched the power uh, to my mask off, Detective Jode. I use your phone. I hope you didn't mind. Hey, yeah, I never thought you'd track us here, especially seeing as you're a death row inmate. And I'm equally surprised as your choice of... 
transportation. A submarine? Eh, but how did you find us, my man? Now even the police knew that Yenoa was going to surface, confound it. We detectives have a little saying, if there's something you want to know about a case, ask the criminal. The bullet in the man, ooh, in red, that had been shot with had a radio transmitter. I had a little something for you. Oh shit, that's cool. Caminella had given me some pretty weird presents in the past, but they were always proved useful. This one was a radio receiver that made that made made to look like a pocket watch. Hmm, yes, Inspector Cavanella. I hear he's an excellent investigator. By the way, where is the man in red? I know he's on the submarine somewhere. Ah, uh, Sicily, you mean? You. you. You can relax. This is nothing but a shell. A shell, eh? The spirit isn't here right now. He's most likely right about now. He's controlling your daughter. Oh, shit. Please, I beg you, let my daughter go. If you need a hostage to take me, please let her go. Bah. There's something our nation needs. Sissel has it. That's why we care about it, my man. Nothing else matters. However, it would appear Sissel has underestimated us. He's left behind his precious bargaining chip here. Bargaining chip? Our nation has already researched it. This product that Sissel has to offer. The source of his powers. Oh shit, that is a massive chunk of meteorite. What? What in the world was that? The Tensic fragment that gives spirits special powers, and now our deal with Sissel's concluded as far as we're concerned. What are you talking about? Sis, what a mistake to make right at the most critical moment. Now, Detective Jode. Farewell. That was a huge meteorite chunk stuck in him. Holy shit. Oh, yeah, he's dead. Happy good morning. How are you? Is it morning? What time is it? Is it like 5 a.m., 6 a.m. for you? 7 a.m. there? Okay. It's not like the body of course you don't get out. Good morning, Teffy. How's your Wednesday starting off? Yeah, like literally gets, what, shot in the chest? Still lived. He got an explosion, still lived, and everything else here. And then now he's got that stupid thing taken out. What in the world? The whole room just vanished. Detective Joe, where did he go? Oh, God. What now? I think I heard an explosion somewhere. In any case, Lynn and the little lady should be here somewhere. I spoke danger. I better find them and fast. Telephone dial. Oh, that's right. So you're here, huh? It's Missile! Yeah, I think I even remember who you are by now. Are you supposed to, sh uh, was that supposed to shock? What was that? What are you supposed Oh my god, I can't read. What are you supposed to shock was a minute ago? I have no idea, bro. I'm just a little sheltered apartment dog. What? With my loss of memory, I can't say I'm much better. Anyway, let's hurry up and go save Miss Lynn and Miss Camellia. You think their trusty nose of yours can sniff them out? I'm sorry, I don't think it can. Why do I even bother to ask? You do have the power to swap objects. So let's go find that lady, de lady detective and that little lady together. You got it! So cute. Telephone still works? The telephone's ringing. Wow! It's Miss Camellia. I just know it. My trusty nose is practically streaming at it. Streaming it at me. 
I think you call that more of a hunch. Anyway, let's get that phone before it stops ringing. You bet. Hello, Miss Camellia. Hello. It's no use. This black hello just isn't like me. Let's create a path through missile. I'll come right over. Switch. Uh, what the hell is this? What am I supposed to do? I can't go farther. This one isn't working anymore. I guess we can leave the sub. I got it. Okay. Nice, nice, nice. I just heard another little explosion in the distance. I got a bad feeling about this. This is a look. That black hello, it came off the hook. Uh oh, I better answer it fast. Hello, is anybody there? It's her little lady. Sissel, where are you? Tell me, please answer me. I guess she can't hear my voice. You too? Oh, good. I thought she was ignoring me. Somebody help me. Lynn, Lynn is. She said Lynn. Miss Lynn, we better hurry. Let's go to Sissel. Uh oh. Oh god, she's dead. Well, I think it's because the manipulator is there. No use, nobody's answering. Miss. Miss Camellia and. Uh oh. Miss Lynn. Oh, poor Miss Lynn. Yeah, she can't seem to catch a break. Looks like another tragedy happened. Sorry to keep you waiting, little lady. Sissy, I knew you'd come. Miss Camellia, Miss Camellia! And Miss Isle, too. I'm glad you're alright. Well, I wouldn't say I'm alright, exactly. Hey, wait a minute. Miss Sile, your voice. I think I remember hearing it somewhere. What, my voice? Mm, that's right. Camellia has a cord now, so that means she did hear Miss Sile's voice when he saved her at that time. So it was you, wasn't it, Miss Sile? You're the one who saved me in the park tonight. Thank you. 
Miss Camellia, I'm so glad I was born your little dog. Hey, Missile, could you stay here and watch over your mistress for a while? Huh? You don't need my powers? I'll see what I can do on my own for a while. After all, you're the only one who can protect her. Okay, I... I'll do it. Thank you, Missile. It's just so... Missile is so freaking... All right. Okay, I wonder what happened this time. I better talk to the little lady a little more. Then I better do something about that detective lady. Can you talk to you a minute? Yes, sissy? Could you tell me what happened to you? What happened after I last saw you at your old house? Oh, let's see. After that, I think I fell asleep. I woke up to the sound of an engine, so she was already in the submarine by then? I thought to myself, I have to escape. I found myself, the next thing I knew, I found myself in this big room. I was so tired I couldn't move. Then, Camellia. I was so relieved. I don't remember what happened after that. She must have passed out, the poor thing. You must have been through so much. You're very brave. I think Lynn's probably through more than me. You've both been brave. Oh, Sissel, you're here. Lynn, what in the world happened here? I don't know. Huh? I just sort of blacked out all of a sudden. Next thing I knew, I was dead. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't know in that case. And where's Detective Joe? Is he alright? I don't know. Huh? The room he was just in disappeared all of a sudden. And now it's making even less sense than before. After we just left the... Uh... Office, we followed after the man in red. We tracked him with that radio transmitter. Inspector Cabanella fired into the bullet. Fired into him with the bullet. Man in red took a small boat to the sea from a small harbor on the edge of town. Victor Joe and I managed to secretly stow away on this boat. Then we sneaked onto the submarine when, when uh, with him when it surfaced. Before long, the submarine dove back down again. Victor Joe and I decided to split up. We would take care of the telephone line, and I looked for Camellia. I found Camellia hiding here in the engine room. She had escaped and run away here. Wow, that's quite an adventure. What happened next? I don't know. Huh? There was a flash of white and all of a sudden, next thing I knew, I was dead. Oh boy, it sounds like it'd be quicker to see for myself. Siona engine room. Camellia, are you okay? Oh! Camellia? Hello, Lynn, or the detective. It's been 10 years since we last met. Are you... Are you really that man from the park 10 years ago? Well, I see there's no need to introduce myself. Give Camellia back. She has nothing to do with any of this. I'm afraid I can't do that. This is my last chance. The telephone is ringing. Not for me. Nobody ever calls the dead. Oh, shit. Fact is you're here means that my revenge plan has failed. Revenge plan? It didn't happen tonight, but it was execution. Well, by knowing him, I half expected this much. That's why I was waiting here like this, waiting for him to show up. Wouldn't it be just the way he wanted to be executed by his own daughter? I heard about the ten years ago. I'm s I am feel sorry what happened to him. But revenge? Nobody could possibly know what I... What in the world? An explosion? 
Uh oh, I've got a bad feeling about this. Have I have I been had? Look out. Oh, there we go. Revenge, huh? I have a feeling I just can't understand. Of course not, you're not him. She's right, I'm not him at all. I am. He's going to shoot Detective Jode. It's Camellia when he came to rescue her. It's just too horrible. Anyway, let's bring you back to life again. You didn't have to add the part again. Alright, let's revive her again. So let's see, the cause of death this time was my furious explosion. Have a good night, Bakun. Thank you so much for hanging out. I appreciate it. Thank you for the tips. Have a good night. We we're, were pretty up for a dead woman. You know how to detect her. Love a good mystery. It has, it's like a shot of vitamins. I don't know what it means for a dead woman. What do you mean for a dead woman? Anyway, I guess we should really look for a way to stop that explosion. Alright, let's do this thing. Find clues like a dose of minerals to a detective. I'm afraid with my memory loss, I have no idea what vitamins and minerals are. There we go. It's no use, I can't get the line to work. That's funny. I thought I could use the phone if somebody was calling. What are you talking about? The receiver has to be off the first game. Hook first, silly. Well, don't look at me. I can't do it. I don't have hands to feet right now. Somebody please answer the phone. Once something's done, you gotta do it yourself. Hey, we somehow managed to knock the receiver down. Somehow managed. Who say that's not how I planned it? Come on, hurry, now this chance now your chance to get on the phone. Let me detect the joke. She's right, I better check it out. Hello, anybody there? If anybody's still there, get yourself here on the double. We're about to head out. Speak up, why don't you answer? Anyway, if you're coming, we're leaving. Let's see what's going on. Must be true what they say, that there are restless ghosts on board. Updated phone book. That does it. I promised Genova a new leaf, Mom. Who is he calling restless ghosts? Well, it's true. Either of us are resting in peace. Anyway, looks like the sub lost one of its crew. Hmm. I guess it means the fate of this sub has changed slightly. underestimated us uh, left his room. So we got him. Detective Joe, what's he doing there? I guess I saw this little deal go down once before. In just a moment, the man in red is about to get his Temsic fragment taken away. It won't budge. Maybe it's broken. Oh, well, I guess I don't have to lower it right now. If I had to move it, I'd probably get Lynn to do it. I don't get it, what's happening? Uh, they decided to conclude the deal without the, any other party present. They're just going ahead and steal the tents of fragment. Yeah, but huh? That's cheating. I think we have more important things to think about right now. Where the tents of fragment is going to go.
Come on. Oh. Got it. Yeah, there we go. Oh shit, here we go. We'll get this dude. Uh, Tensic Fragment, you are mine at last. Yo, he's rubbing it. The object detective has been achieved. Now we detach the control panel as uh, the control room as planned. Yes, sir. Farewell, sir. Sizzle, what just happened? The whole room just disappeared with Detective Joe in it. Don't worry, Lynn. I bet Detective Joe can take care of himself. The main thing in now is rescuing you and the little lady. Can't believe this is happening. Now that I better hurry along before Sizzle discovers he's lost and comes after you. The Yona will be his coffin. May it li lie buried in the deep sea forever. Farewell, Sissel. That's pretty cool. Aha, uh -huh, so that's the cause of that giant explosion. Huh? What is it? Don't tell me that's another thing you forgot. The torpedo, it's like, well, you've heard of a missile before, haven't you? Yeah, sure. But it's a little different missile. Comes more readily to mind. It looks like he had plans to sink the submarine with that thing. This is not good. We have to do something for it. That torpedo is fired. There's no time, it's gonna launch. Don't worry, we can still find a way to stop it. What, how? Even if the torpedo just launches, we just have to stop it from detonating, right? There's still something we can do, I hope. Why was the hope at the end of the strongest part of that sentence? Okay, here it goes. Whoa. <gasps> Mousey, there's a mouse inside? What the hell? Jesus, I came along for the ride without giving it too much thought, but there was, was this really the best move? I think so, we just have to keep it up from going off, right? I'm sure this poor little guy will thank us too. How in the world did it get in there? I think these outside parts are supposed to be weights of some sort. Spinning black things, right? Apparently they're spinning it helps the torpedo from, uh, maintain balance. They must be pretty heavy. I wonder if we can use these weights for advantage somehow. Striker. Gyroscope stop. That's near. Do you know how a torpedo works? No, I can't say I do. Well, detectives sure know a lot. I saw it explained it once in the book. On impact, the fuse uh, in the tip is depressed. That in turn sets off to the detonator. Detonator, huh? It must be that red button. So how do we stop it? They didn't explain anything about that in the book. Wow, detectives sure know a lot or not. Operate. Mm, this looks like just the thing. If only we clamp the fuse, we should keep it from moving. Uh oh, so what does it mean exactly? It means we might be able to stop this torpedo from exploding with this. I have to admit it, I don't understand all the details, but I do want to give it a try. But before we can do that, it looks like we gotta get something out of the way first, huh?
It should be a safety device, okay. We have to put the safety device on the scene before it blows up. Let me just look at this again. I don't know what to do. Oh shit. Load bearing mouse. Nice, we stopped it. Okay, good, nice. We dumped the creature off. Wow, those weights uh, were heavy enough to turn the whole torpedo over. Now for that safety device. Right. There, we clamped the safety device on. We did it. That should keep the torpedo from exploding. One problem. One problem? What's that? The torpedo is still going to impact. We can't do anything about that. Uh oh. What was that noise? Looks like the torpedo still hit the submarine, but it looks like the submarine's still okay. That the this changes everybody's fight, including the little rats. So so we did it. Yes, we saved the mouse. I will save the mouse. What's the matter? You still look unhappy. We stopped the torpedo from blowing up, but we still have opened a gaping hole in the submarine. Hmm, you're right, I guess. I guess that's just what missiles do, they're unstoppable. Huh? Am I hearing things? Anyway. I guess we better get back to the present as quickly as we can. Alright, I'm worried about Camellia. We managed to stop death for now, but that hasn't disappeared altogether. It's slowly, sure, slowly but surely filling the room. Uh-oh. Water seeping into the hole where the torpedo hit. We gotta get them out. I better go meet up with Lynn. Deadly load bearing mouth. The lights went out, but the machine apparently still works. Hello, Jarvis. How are you doing? Good evening. What are you up to? Apparently the lights went out, but the machine still apparently works. Unfortunately, I guess it won't run for very long, but I may be able to use this movement to help me create a path. Go. This good just flipping around trips this way. This game is really fun. If you like puzzle games, this is the thing for you, thing for you. This is also if you like Phoenix Wright. This is from the same creator of Phoenix Wright.
There's a lot of good puzzles for this. Yes. Okay, here we go. Pipe examine. Turn. There we go. Uh oh, she's gonna get whacked. Lynn. Amelia, you're awake. How do you feel? I'm sorry. I'm sorry I pointed that gun at you. Don't worry about that. It wasn't you. Miss Camellia! Oh, Miss Al, you're here. Oh, poor Miss Camellia. Miss Lynn, what should we do? We have to get out of here before any more water comes in. Sissel should be along any second. I knew Sissy would come. And Missy is here too. I'm so ha happy everybody's going to be here with me now. Oh, she fainted. Uh oh. Camellia! Miss Camellia! I'll get you out of here. It's the last thing I do. Aw, oh, I think I'm gonna cry. Or whimper, as the case may be. I better send Lynn a signal that I'm here. Before it's too late. Time to flash the light. Oh, look at that flashlight. It's Sissel, he's here. Up you go. Oh, that's so cute. Have you ever heard of this game, Jarvis? If not, it's definitely very fun. I'm glad you're here, Sissel. Sorry for the wait. It looks like this room is gonna fill up with water fast. We better get out, get that door as quick as we can. We won't, we won't be getting out of that door, I'm afraid. Hi, Lady Lunity. This is so good. I love it. My brain's too smooth, though. I was struggling a lot. Uh, this is actually PC. So this originally came out in for the DS in like the 2010. Uh, I think it was 2010. Hello, Justin. How's it going? And then, actually, I was debating about emulating this, but then Capcom actually remastered this for this year, and I was very happy to play this, and it's so good. Really good. The water pressure's already great. Can't open it. I hope you're having a good Tuesday, by the way, Justin. What? What does water pressure mean? Think of it as a force of water holding door closed. It's probably on the Switch. I don't know. I probably... I probably... Uh, I probably didn't see that. Jar uh, not Jarvis. Uh, Gaucho. But I'm pro I'm not, I wouldn't be surprised if it is on the Switch. I guess... Uh, so I guess I got drunk the other night and bought a guitar. Oh boy. Oh, okay, that's cool. So then, yeah, it's going to be on Switch, too. So if you're interested in playing this, Jarvis, uh, it will be on Switch. So Gaucho is the main person to know as well. Well, hopefully it's not too big. Do an expensive guitar. Can you return it, by the way, Justin? Okay, good. It was a shape you didn't have and stuff happens. Hey, at least it kind of helped you uh, add to your collection. Hopefully it's a good one. If not, you can always return it. You're going to 100% not return it. Hey, sometimes it's worth it with those uh, with those purchases. I, w I remember the funny thing was like this guy, I think was drunk or something like that, or high, very high, ordered a air mattress that looked like an ice cream sandwich. It's like zero, if I can give it zero stars because it looked like, it doesn't look like an ice cream sandwich. I guess I had the sense to get a used dinged up one for less money. Hopefully you can repair it. I mean, you know, if you're handy at repairing it, there you go. It'll be a, it'll be a labor of love, as they say. The water level keeps getting higher and higher in here. So the only way out of here is up, huh? Great, I'll look it up. Have a fun night. I have 25 shrines to track that. Nice. Have fun tracking down the shrines, Jarvis. Good luck. Have fun. Just finish, uh, it's just finished work, like painting some things normal. That's nice. If you know how to do that, that's cool. Exactly. Now, I got it. Let's go look for a path that goes up. Hey, look at, look at that ladder. I wonder if we can get it down somehow. Good idea, let's try. Oh, by the way, yes. I can't swim, neither can Camellia. Don't you have any good news for me? 
Hmm, let me think about it. Mm, in the meantime, could you hurry up? Yes, I will try. No. There we go. You did it, Sissel. Thanks. I'm gonna leave the where though. It gives a character, keeps a history. Nice. You can do that. Like you can write down like a little bit of Tibbet in a booklet. History of Justin Thunderliger's guitars. Oh shit. Oh, she's gonna die. What is? Was that? It looks like water seeping in isn't the only thing we have to worry about. Tissel the flashlight, it doesn't work anymore. Hey, don't get mad at me. Maybe the uh, contacts are bad or something. I know, you can fix this with your powers. Okay, now that's just taking things too far. Flashlight, turn on. Our right, great. Did you use to be an electrician in your past life or something? That's a cruel question considering the circumstances. Now all we have to do... Is get to the door and we're safe. Eek. Oh, no. oh shit, I got yeeted. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's not good. Ooh. What happened now? Looks like the submarine decided to rear up on its hind legs. Can't believe we're still okay after that fall. Either we're lucky or we're dead or we just haven't realized it yet. Come on now, as if the latter could be true. We are, yep, we are solving mysteries daily now, Verisol. We're almost done. I think this might take one more stream if I don't if my brain doesn't decide to fart up every time. What now? This water sure is rising fast. Come on. Just have to go up from the top. Let's see if uh, my ghost trick can help. The music is really good. Oh, well, I think I see a familiar flame over there. Tissel, there you are. How's it going? How's it going? I'd say it's going pretty badly. You do understand this situation. It's, it's a dangerous situation. How, how dangerous this situation is. Don't you? Of course, after all. Just ask anybody how much I hate taking a bath. Maybe he's been in danger of drowning himself before. Okay, ready to create a pass for these ladies? Of course! Wolf Wolf, yes, this dog is really cute. Oh, oh these pipes are all broken.
What am I supposed to be doing? This is what we do. His little doggies worrying to go after his beast. Plus, let's create a path that will get Lin to the top fast. Look for anything we can to move and we try things out. Okay. Uh, that doesn't help. She drowned. Oh, shoot. A woman who can't swim and an ambitious woman, they both head for the top. To do that, I need to recreate some type of footholds for her. A woman who can't swim and a sensible woman, they both keep their feet on the ground. Okay. How the hell do we... Just sticking right in front of me, like, hi, Sawa, how are you? Hope you're doing well. This piston stick right in front of me, almost like they're taunting me. Maybe it's a challenge? It might be, you think you can climb them? Hmm. If I wasn't holding me, I could probably do it easily. Doing good, we're trying to figure out this. This is like a very smooth brain, and this, my brain is very smooth, so I'm having a little bit of problem trying to figure this out. But I'm taking one at seven. How are you doing? Nice! What are you, what are you doing? Uh, what are you brushing up on? Just cleaning it up and looking for... I know you were working on something before. Like, uh, we had one job before. You're gonna change another job? You're not telling Miss Lynn to leave Familia behind, are you? Could you just be quiet for a minute, Miss Isle? Just ensure look they can be used to our advantage. Oh, I know what I can do. I think I have to change. It's working, just making it better with the AI? Okay. Okay, so this is okay. But the music is really good in this game. This game is really fun. So I just need to change this. Yeah, the music's pretty fun. I like it a lot. Yeah, so if you've ever, um, 
had a... Let me see. Have you ever played the uh, Phoenix Wright? Because this is from the same people who made it. So this is from the same people who made it, and it's really fun. I really like it a lot. It's definitely fun. I like it. Oh, she's drowned. Shoot. Oh, the water's still rising to my knees, and it's freezing cold. Hold on. are pretty cool here. They're pretty hard though. There we go. There we go. There we go. How about that? Wow, this is great. You made a staircase for me. Better hurry. I don't think the water's gonna wait for you. Getting, it's too hard to get to the what? There's no way around it either. Can we think of something? Of course we can. We have to. Thank you so much for the raid. I hope you had a good stream. How's it going, upgrade? Thank you so much for the follow. For the, for the raid, paper. How was Final Fantasy 16 going? Right now, it's, we're having some smooth brain problems because we're trying to figure out the puzzles. Oh, it's Horizon again. Yeah, I hope you had a good time. Relax, chill out, and we're gonna continue working on trying to escape. I set up the steam, the steam flow to that first pipe. Welcome back, Dave. Um, here comes the water again. I wish I could drink it all for you. No, my son, too salty. I think we have a more relevant point that he said to me. Can't drink it. Whatever, just do something about the steam. Give it to me, Miss Lynn. Thanks. Um, 
could just always swap the pipes. Changes to how the steam comes out, huh? I get it, because the cracks in the pipes are different, right? So each pipe sprays out different steam a different way, eh? I bet it could come in handy. Great, all the horrible seams clearing out of the way. Okay, it's not too far now. Try to move forward. Ouch. Yes, there we go. Yay, we're almost there. Look up there, if I can make it to the door, we can escape. Now, how in the world are we gonna get up there? Don't yell at me. If you want to yell, you can yell at me. Missile. How can I yell at you when you're so sweet about it? I think you just did. Let's go look for something to pull Miss Lynn up. Like, yes, yeah, something to do to whisk Miss Lynn up and glide her ever so gently to the top. Hey, you're being sarcastic. Move, hey, dog. I can't do it. Hurry up. Is that a way to ask for something? It's no use. I can't budge. It must be suck. Oh no. Uh oh. No. This way. Oh shit. What the heck? Ooh. E, what is that? What just happened? I just... I can't believe my eyes. Lynn and the little lady suddenly vanished, leaving only darkness and sea water. The submarine continues to sink down into deep, deep sea, but I still want to try and make my way up as far as possible. I want to still head up to find a single ray of light. Light to illuminate the truth at the bottom of this deep, deep darkness. Nice. Final struggle. Okay. Oh. Ch chapter 17. 5, 10, 8. The appended submarine continues to sink, but surely a long, long journey to the bottom of the sea. Lynn and the little lady found darkness 
and the salt water closing on them. But the very last second, something saved them. Now it looks quietly at them. What is that? My head is filled with one giant question. What in the world is this thing? Eek. What? Is that the... Uh... I see you managed to survive, Detective. Oh, it's that guy. Hey, you're... Excuse my appearance, I must... I seem to have lost my body. It's that guy. Oh, and you're... You there. You're the ghost who's been saving Lynn all evening, aren't you? You knew about me all along? Of course, what else would explain about those unnatural things happening? If you knew, how come you didn't do anything about all about it all this time? And how come you decided to save us all of a sudden? Thought you wanted to get revenge on us. I don't really know. Please, you gotta tell. I need to know. Who in the world are you? Just to look at you, what happened? I can't hold on to the image of myself any longer. I can't remember who you are. That's right. I came all this way tonight trying to chase down my lost memory. For quite a bit tonight, I thought I was you, Sissel. Sissel? My name isn't Sissel. I bet you'll remember real soon. Who you are and who I am, too. What? I wonder if it's Ray. The man in front of me is not me. I'm further away from the truth. Or maybe not. Something is stirring in my mind, a memory about to emerge. Do I know this man? Now that I've shed my image of myself, I feel like I'm one step closer to the truth. They got us good. It's all over for this summer. The engine room is destroyed and the hole the hole in the hole and it's sinking as we speak. What are you doing here? I thought you had to deal with those people. They betrayed me. I was a fool to trust them. They already have what they wanted. The Temsky fragment. They didn't I didn't know they had it all figured out. You mean they figured out the source of your powers? Yeah, the meteorite's radiation has two effects on living creatures. There's power and time. If you don't mind, we'd like to hear more. Those 10 years I've been watching that junkyard superintendent do his research and I've been thinking I've got some, got some of it figured out. The meteorite's radiation gives spirits special powers by possessing and manipulating objects. And in my case, swapping objects. Exactly. Apparently, there are individual differences in the powers we got. It seems powers change as time goes by. They do? Yeah, my powers have changed over the past 10 years. At first, I can only manipulate small living creatures. But now, how do you suppose we got these powers? It's simple. How? Is it? How, then? In a nutshell, we died while exposed to the energy emiti emitted by the meteorite, its radiation. That's what it does? Dying while being exposed to radiation? On that day 10 years ago... Ooh. A fragment of that meteorite pierced my heart and died. Oh shit. Oh, that was why it got his heart. So, of course, I received special powers. Hey, wait a minute. Is that how I got my powers too? You know, you might be right. So basically, Missile died while near the radiation. So everybody's got radiation poisoning. Oh, good god. Aren't the Temsky rem remnants still in the park at the bottom of the crater? You're right. So that must mean I must have died in the presence of meteorites radiation too. Another effect of the meteorites radiation 
has on us is that it gives us time. Again, I think the time effect is centered around the theme of death, but it's not all three. So the fact that I can return four minutes before a person's death is another effect of that meteorite. One of the characteristics of that meteorite is the ability to replay the moment of death. Replay the moment of death? Oh, this is so strange and confusing. I can't take it all in. It makes sense as much as... It... What? It makes about as much sense to me as anything else. Yeah, strange and confusing. That's just about sums up the object that pierced my body that day. Thanks to the meteorite fragment, my very existence is a contradiction. What do you mean? That day, when the fragment pierced my heart, I lost my life. However, because it remained inside me, that fragment continued to constantly regenerate my body. In other words, my body was constantly cycling between the moments that separated my life and death. What? The body's vital function stopped 10 years ago. My body's time is perpetually stopped at just at the moment just before death. You know, that kind of sucks, being stuck in a constant loop of death. That kind of takes a toll on somebody's brain, especially for 10 years. Holy shit. Time just stopped, huh? Though I just simply exist, not really alive and not really dead. That pretty much sums up these last 10 years for me, ever since that incident at the park. My body hasn't aged today, my hair hasn't grown an inch. Come to think of it, that old pigeon guy mentioned something. He said he couldn't cut this guy's body with the scalpel. Yeah, <laughs> upgrade. So I guess as soon as the incision was made, his body would be regenerated. Wow. Before I left this country, I wanted to do one thing. I wanted to get revenge on the people who stole our lives. Our lives? As part of the deal, I made those guys promise to cooperate. Cooperate? You mean the kidnapping? It all went fine. I manipulated the justice minister and made him issue out the execution order. And I thought he might call off the execution at the last second. So that's why you wanted his daughter kidnapped. But they kidnapped the wrong girl. Little did I know that they had their own reasons for cooperating with me. Huh? Their objective was to wipe out everyone who had to do with the temp sick. The tag of Jode was one such person, so they were happy to cooperate. Inspector Caminella, the Junkyard Super, they were slated to be wiped out too. And as it turns out... I was one of their targets as well. Ho 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 ho, what a big betrayal. So they stole my Temsic fragment and here I am. But they had one more final target. You, detective. Me? If you weren't there in that park that day 10 years ago, I would have never thought of doing something as stupid as taking a hostage. Okay... But I was just a little kid playing at the park. Yeah, I know. Huh? Ten years later, you've become a detective looking into Jode's case. Tonight, I invited you to a quiet edge on the edge of town. It was a trap, you see? I told you who I was. You never saw my face that day 10 years ago. So of course you didn't recognize me. I took possession of you to make you shoot me. You're here too. Hello, Montresor. Your subconscious resisted me. Such incredible power. It was the first time I wasn't able to control somebody completely. The 
aim was off. The first shot missed the mark. The junkyard super, the, the junkyard was equipped with security cameras. I knew you'd be wanting to murder. That was my plan anyway. But they had other ideas. They simply wanted you wiped out. But then, something drew a big monkey wrench into their scheme. I showed up. I was supposed to meet up with them after that. But then something went wrong. What happened? My body disappeared. Ah, uh, the inspector in white was responsible for that one. My precious bargaining chip was in that body. I had to get it back, no matter what. The inspector caused me no end of trouble. But why were those people targeting me? I've never even heard of the Temsic meteorite. Because you were looking into the Jode case. They thought you would find out about Temsic sooner or later. That's pretty much the whole story. The only thing left to do now is wait for the water pressure to crush this submarine. Oh no. There are no cores to link from here uh, to the water surface. I have an idea. Why don't we hook up a phone line and there are no communication lines down this deep. They're meant for the submarine to be my coffin. A coffin for the dead. There's no escape. I, th I think I kind of understand now what you've been feeling these 10 years. You what? The feeling cut off from the whole world alone in a submarine, sinking slowly towards the bottom of an endless sea. This must be how you felt all along. Oh, I call it a night stream. Lynn? Camellia, is it true we're stuck here? What? Oh, uh. If dad, my dad, if my dad were here, I bet he'd save us. Oh, Camellia, I'm so sorry. Hmm, that's funny. What is it, Cecil? There's something I don't understand. Why would they go all the trouble to detaching the control room? What? Why didn't they just steal a tensic fragment and escape if that's what they wanted? Why did they have to go jettison your body off into the sea? Hmm, that's a good question. But I guess it doesn't matter now. We'll never find it again. We have no idea where it was launched to. Wait a minute. I guess we do. <laughs> she got the watch. This will tell us where Detective Joe is. That present from the Inspector in White. That's right, Detective Joe told me to hold on to it. And the bullet's still in that person's body in the commander, right? Then we should be able to tell exactly where it is with this. But, but, even if we find out where, how do we get there? We should be able to figure out something between the three of us. Our power is right, Miss Lynn. Yes. Right. Oh, wait a minute. What about that torpedo? Torpedo? In any case, it's too early for us to give up. Hmm, looks like Detective Joe is our last hope. Detective Joe, you are our only hope. Come on, let's get started. Alright, uh... Oh. Why is Mission Shovel Grapes at me? Well, it looks like a private captain of a top officer, doesn't it? The music is so good here. 
This machine is probably feeding, is probably for feeding grapes while Eli's is dead. Oh, it sounds heavenly. I've been thinking about this for a while, but I you don't think this country's use of technology is a little off? It's the guy who made a deal with said country. Anyway, it looks like the arm of this our machine is a little bit busted. Telephone. Uh, let's go to the torpedo room. Torpedo room, huh? There might be another torpedo left in there. I'll go check it out. Oh, I get it. You're going to use the missile to ram the control room. Well, I don't know about ram. We don't want to blow up Detective Joe up or something like that. We'll climb up the torpedo room. Up is definitely safer. Okay, I'll see you there. I say the torpedoes can be launched manually with these switches. There are two tubes, so there should be one more left. I guess the first thing we have to do is load it into the tube. When it comes to missiles, you can count on me. I'll enter the coordinates in the command room into the torpedo. And just turning on backup power, we should be able to use the switches now. So let's try it. Good luck! What will happen to these two ladies? I think that's up to us and our powers. What? This is no time to be standing around unsure of ourselves. Will you lend me your strength in the style? Me? Of course I will. Count on it! Which one, but maybe it's broken? I don't think the entire device is broken though. It should probably work fine if I only move this switch. We'll probably have to find a way to move it somehow. Can't do it with power as well. Oh, okay, hold up. Go. The torpedo looks serviceable. I'll set it on the end too, but something's odd. What is it? Command room, it looks like it's slowly sinking. Sinking? Yeah, it's like completely running out of power. I wonder what happened. I don't know, but I guess I'll find out. Alright, hop onto the missile. I'll launch it for you. Okay, thanks. I've already set out to be Peter's course. I'll head towards the command uh, room where Detective Joe is. 12 seconds after launching, it'll pass the command room for an instant. It'll be your window of opportunity to jump over to the command room. Okay, got it. And then we'll find a way to come back and save you. It'll probably be my last task tonight. Just hold on until we get back. Yes! Alright, come on, missile. Missile? I... I'm sorry, I can't go. What? I just can't. How could I leave? I can't leave Miss Lynn and Camellia alone. I can't do it. Missile. I swap switches so the missiles can be launched. You'll have to do the rest, Sissel. I can't do it either. I can't ask Missile to come with me after that. I understand exactly how he feels. Good boy, Sissel. Toots in the chat. I want you to go, Missile. What? But Miss Lynn, you staying here won't change our fate. If you go with Sissel, we might be able to do make something happen, and that's our own. But what if something doesn't happen? I'll never be able to see you again. Never, ever again. I can't. Even I can understand that. I, I couldn't stand that. Don't worry, Missile. Miss Camellia? I know you and Sissy can make it happen. I believe in you. I'll be right here waiting for you. See each other again then, don't worry. Miss Camellia! <laughs> oh, that was it. That's a good boy missile.
Now, are you ready? Remember, 12 seconds after the switch, after I throw the switch. We're ready. Thistle? Yes. We never found out who you really were, but that doesn't matter now. All I know is I'm truly glad I met you tonight. Thank you for everything. I'm glad to have met you. I'm glad I met you, Detective. We're going to see each other, right? Right to see, right, Miss Sile? That's right, we promise, little lady. Of course we will. I'll never forget you, no matter what happens. Here goes, then. Good luck, friend. All systems gone. This is such a sick. I got it so good. These 12 seconds are lasting in eternity. I strive to think of a way to save Lynn and the little lady the whole time. But how can a ray of light of hope reach this far down into the deep sea? Before I can even before I can think of an answer, the 12 seconds are up. That's cool. Detective Chowd, I bet, bet that big mess man did this. I'm gonna bite him. You better not, you might break your teeth. The command room has lost power in the sinking, so I wonder what this mess man is going to do. Let's talk to Detective Chowd. Sorry for the wait, Detective Chowd. Who are you? Are you Sissel? Please excuse my appearance. I can't believe you made it here. How's Camellio? What about Lynn? Well, kind of a long story. I told Detective Joe about everything that happened at the submarine Yanoa. So the submarine's badly damaged? Why would he do this to his own submarine? I wish I knew. I knew the answer to that one. It's because he's afraid of my powers. You, you, you follow us here? I didn't even notice. Been 10 long years, Detective Joe. Are you... Yomiel? Oh shit, his name is Yomiel? Whoa! So you do rem you remember me, do you? How could I possibly forget? So that's what your name is, huh? Real name is, huh? Yomiel? That's right. But those people on the Yona, on the Yona they call you Sissel? That's just an alias I was using to for my deal with them. I didn't even see any need to tell them my real name. Could you do me a favor? Would you let me ask you some questions? I've been trying to f figure out, find out my true identity all night. Sure, go ahead. I'm sure there's plenty we can still tell you, tell you right, Detective Joe? Right. About Yomiel. Ten years ago, you were a top systems engineer, weren't you? Systems engineer? What's that? By the way, I'm the top Pomeranian, you know? Well, it's a kind of hard to explain to a dog, but it's a person who's good at using computers. I don't mean to bag, but I was one of the best in the industry. Uh-oh. That's how I got roped into joining that project. Project or project? It was a project aimed to reorganizing the nation's top secret information. The goal was to build a new system using multidimensional programming theory. I was asked to join the project by an agent of the government. It doesn't sound like something a top Pomeranian would know anything about. To me, it just sounded like another challenging job. So this guy's got brains, man. However, this project was also the target of a secret plot. I bet you can imagine the kind of crime the nation's top secrets might attract. I never thought for the life of me I'd ever have to deal with spies. It was never made public. But every organization in the country moved on this one, and then one day, the name of a certain programmer emerged as a suspect. I was the guy who built the core of the system. The police arrested you, and then that incident happened. 
He escaped from the interrogation room and took little Lynn as a hostage. By the way, Detective Jode, when was it that I was proven innocent? About six months after your death. I'm so sorry, Yomil. Ten years ago... My soul was split from my body, and I lost everything. I was sealed into eternal darkness. I existed in this world. No question about that. The music's so hard here, man. Nobody knows my presence. What good were my powers? They didn't help anyone, anybody. Not even the passage of time could heal my pain. In fact, it only made it worse. I wanted to disappear. But I wasn't even allowed to do that. The way Lynn described it is exactly right. Sinking slowly towards the bottom of an endless sea. An overwhelming feeling of loneliness and despair. And all I wanted all of you to suffer what I was suffering. So that's why you murdered Alma. That's right. I wanted you to know what it was to lose everything you cared about. I wanted you to feel the same pain I felt. What? It was the twisted wish of a mind poisoned by an infinite loneliness. And then, as I was plotting my revenge, I had an idea. I came up with a plan to use these powers of mine to make a deal. The deal. There's something I just don't understand about that deal. I'm sure your powers would be very valuable to them. But, what would you get out of the deal? A new life. Life? I asked them about... I asked them for two conditions. Number one was they'd help me with my revenge plot. And the second was a rebirth for me. Rebirth? A, re begin a new beginning, eh? I didn't care if it was a fake life, an artificial life. I just wanted a physical receptacle for my soul, a name, an identity, an everyday life. I wanted to grow old in a society that would accept me. And finally, I wanted to die surrounded by a loving family. That's the kind of life I had asked them for. Completely man-made life. That's right. I knew I couldn't hope for anything more than that. To make it all come true, I knew it had to take a lot of money and a lot of power. That's why I decided to ask the national government to help. And the response in the end was betrayal. They were making their moves much more carefully than I suspected. They sent spies to this country and researched my powers on their own. And they even figured out what Temsky, Temsik was all about. You had no idea they were doing this? None at all. I was a fool. So then, why did they go all the trouble of making a deal with you? Why didn't they just steal a hunk of Temsik, uh, the Temsik meteorite from the park? They couldn't. Huh? After the manipulator incidents of Research was conducted in this country, too. A report was submitted to the government about the source of the manipulator's power. By Inspector Caminella and the old pigeon guy, eh? At first, the government didn't believe the report. But they decided to put the park under surveillance just in case. Surveillance, huh? This looks like an ordinary and peaceful park, but there are mm, armed milk agents there at all times. Oh shit, that's an armed agent? Don't tell me that odd leaflet guy is one of them. Nope, not him. He's just a plain old odd person. The park is like a silent battlefield on an international scale. So that's why they couldn't steal the Tempsic meteorite. And lately, under the pretense of a house of building a housing site, 
They're working on a plan to destroy the park in order to secure the Tempsic meteorite. So that's it, eh. So your upshot... So the upshot of your grand deal was this, eh? Yeah, the ending that I deserve. But at least it's one thing you must be happy about. What's that? You've managed to seal me away forever at the bottom of the sea forever. Well, shall we get started? Started with what? Bring Detective Jode back to life, of course. What what good will that do now? Well, we promised. We promised Miss Lynn and Camellia will save them. And we can't do that without you, Detective Jode. I've been guided by the fate tonight to this place. I won't give up now. Alright, fine. Let's see where it leads us. Here we go, back to four minutes before your death. We'll see this death, and then we're gonna go. S Yona Control room before death. So, where are we headed? We are not headed anywhere, Detective. What? There is only enough fuel on board to launch us away, Detective. We'll run out soon, and I'll be destination. Detective, what are you talking about? That would mean that you've trapped here too. By the way, I am not human, Detective. Damn. I'm a remote control ro robot detective, but your country's use of technology is just plain off. I get that a lot, detective. Why would you go all the, this, the, the trouble to do this? That's nothing but a shell there. It's hardly a threat anymore. Commander Sith likes to pro provide against any possibility, no matter how small the detective. Possibility? What are you talking about? There's no need for you to know, Detective. Oh shit, he's gonna get shot. Now's the time to say goodbye, Detective. In the end, your fate remains the same, it seems, Detective. <sighs> Camellia, forgive me. Oh shit. This isn't over yet. It isn't? Remember what Big Masked Man said? Any possibility, no, how, no matter how small. Possibility. In other words, there must be a chance here somewhere. Possibility of turning this situation around. Okay, we're gonna have to save this for another time because I am really tired. I went to bed at 3.30 last night, so I should be going to bed. Let's see. Uh, where do we go? We are... Auto-save. Is this saved here? Okay, so it did save here. Okay. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. I appreciate it. I know I'm not the brightest person. My brain is too smooth. Let's see. Who is on tonight? I wonder if there's anybody who's also doing this trick. Is he who is first? <gasps> it's world destroying weapon. Enough to build an entire army. You do not deserve this power. Blue Beetle Reap eh. eh, let's just go raid Jupy. Thanks for the stream. Uh we're gonna go raid Jupy. Currently playing uh Pipkin. Pipkin 4 is really cute. I really wanna play it. Should be saving though. I'm a teleport you to 
the ads sound fun? Yeah. Here's the raid. Here's the sub raid. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be streaming tomorrow. We'll see how I feel. Um, if I am streaming tomorrow, we'll probably end up finishing this game. Maybe. My brain is too smooth and we will not finish it. But, uh, yeah. Catch you guys oh, later. That's funny. Have I a good night. Have fun with GPs. She's really cool. Bye-bye. <laughs>